Bum, bum, bum. Okay, that's muted. Let's go to options with music. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? All right, I don't know how loud that is, but, um, oh, when I minimize it, it goes away. Oh. Hello, YouTube. Bold. Bold. <sighs> it's pre-recorded. It says, Veldi Potato. Ooh, now you don't know what to think. We have to go, do we have to go through this every time now, every stream? We have to go through the, is this pre-recorded or not, song and dance? Yep, yep. Oh, hey, Wuggy, how's it going? All right, let me get a window set up. Pop out chat. Feels like a long time since the last stream, even though we just streamed on Thursday, wasn't it? Say pizza, pizza. Couldn't you just say a name of some name and assume chat won't find the person you see or someone who's always there? Um, stop talking about Cheez-Its. Cheese nips are way better. Whoa, whoa. All right, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right. Oh, shit, I just dropped my bottle cap. I need that. Oh, no. Right now, there's, there's at least one person in chat right now is like, hmm... I wonder where this bottle cap bit is going. Wait, what's what's this a setup for? Because I got you trained. No, I just really just dropped my fucking bottle. I can't see it. It's gone. What? The oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Squeaky chair, squeaky life. Isn't that, 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 isn't that obvious? Is that June? Okay, uh, I feel like I forgot to do something. Oh, I forgot to um, post it on, on Discord. Hold on one second. There you go. Well, why is it different this time? It's wider. Okay, so at some point, there's a snail. You, you have the snail has shown up too much now. I have been spoiled on the presence of a snail. I don't know what a snail means. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what kind of snail it's going to be. The only thing I know in snails, it, to do with snails, and is that thought experiment of, like, if you had unlimited money and Im immortality, but there's a snail, and the snail will try to kill you if it touches you. And would you would you take the deal? And if you do, if you do take the deal, what would you do? And I think I would like to keep the snail close to me so I know where the snail is at all times. I feel like it's 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 an indestructible snail. That's 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 true. And it's really smart apparently, but can it communicate? Like and every single time when when you're talking to a redditor about this hypothetical, every single time that you that you think that you have, you know, 
your comeuppance on the snail. They're like, decoy snail. The snail's a genius. Decoy snail. It's like, e even though you the game just started and you've never lost sight of the snail, the snail knew that it was going to be in this game and it set up a preemptive decoy. This uh, like It's always a fucking decoy snail. All right? So, like, maybe it's de decoil, de decoil, decoy Joe, you know? Oh. Thank you for the gifted subs. Any for press? Thank you, thank you. And this is the moment where a couple people finally relax and was like, wow, it's not pre-recorded. Thank you very much, Annie for Prez. 20 gift subs, damn. <laughs> this just means Annie for Prez is in on it. Okay, I see my window. Um, I'm missing a window. All right, there we go. I'm gonna move this window down here. Gatsby, come on, man. Oh, oh, um, uh, it's Yoshi's birthday. We already said happy birthday. We gonna say happy birthday again. Make make it stream official. Happy birthday, Yoshi. Yoshi is two today. Happy birthday, Yoshi. Yoshi is our our yellow lab. Which is Finn's dog, but um, he is, he's not. He's my dog. Both of these are my dog. He's not supposed to be my dog, but he's my dog. This is this is Yoshi. I wish he wasn't. He's annoying. Yeah, I'm chewing you out on your birthday. Yeah. Nah, you're, you're good. You're good. Yoshi. I did not want to name him Yoshi. Nope. I wanted to name him Dandelion. Which would have been very funny if um, if we had named Gatsby Geralt as well. We would have had Geralt and Dandelion, but but no. Alright, I can see that. Alright, I'm assuming the sound is okay. Alright, so, um, this has gone on long enough. Let's close it out. So, I feel bad that we didn't actually play the game and enough of you have campaigned me on discord that i've decided to delay um vr vlr for one stream in order to give hatsune miku bullshit whatever the chance <laughs> the The chance that it deserves to shine, okay? <laughs> so, we're back, and we're gonna play it, because that's what enough of you wanted me to do, right? And that's what you want, right? Like, this is what, this is what you want? Because I can, I can go... Here's what I wanted to try, actually. If I go to custom playlists, can I see the songs if I make the playlist? In order, shuffle, edit... Oh, we could have had new songs the whole time! God damn it! The whole time we could have had new songs! S same, same goddamn song as the whole time. Alright, why is it not running well? Audio is kind of broken. Audio is kind of broken. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I waited three years. Okay, fine. All right. Okay. Okay. Here's what we'll do. Okay. We'll we'll put it to a vote then. All right. We'll put it to a vote. Here we go. Here we go. I've lost my thing. Okay. Hold on. Uh, I need to open Twitch. Go to dashboard. We'll put it to a vote. All right. We'll put it to a vote. All right. Manage poll. New poll. All right. Should we play uh, V... How do I want to word this? Um, VLR or Hatsune Miku Pancake Mix.
Okay, there we go. All right. Should we allow bits to vote? No. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Starting the poll. All right, here we go. We need some music for this. Why is it busted? I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna alt F4 out and I'm gonna do it again. Okay, so on for people watching on YouTube who can't see it, uh, currently VL, VLR is winning uh, 523 votes to um, 489 votes to Hatsune Miku. Okay, that's 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 what that's what's happening right now. Okay, all right, let's restart the game. Better than Steins Gate official. Please don't let Louise win. What do you mean? They're both weep games. It's, it's like fucking alien versus predator over here. Whoever wins, we lose. What the, what the fuck are you talking about? Don't let the weebs win. Oh, what, what do you mean? Is this just like, like turbo weebs versus ultra weebs? They're the same weebs. You know, the person, the, the, there are people here who are looking at this poll right now and are legitimately having a tough time. There's like, oh my god, it's so close, my vote actually matters, it's not like the, the Ontario democracy. Oh no, this actually counts, and I like both options. Oh no, like, like, look, look at this shit. Alright, is it working now? Thank god. Alright, what should I play? Was it Afterburner someone wanted? Oh my god, this sounds awful. Age, age again? Okay. Dramaturgy. Alright, I'm going down. What, 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 what? All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Double ganger. Well, dramaturgy better be a double banger. Here we go. Vote's almost done. This isn't even the E version. Imagine just knowing that. Imagine being upset. Imagine having already listened to this today. Repeating content. Oh, it's just a little, like a little preview. Okay, someone else said something. Meltdown. All right, we're going down to Meltdown. God tier tune. Doubt. I'm Miku Miku you for reals. Jitterbug. I can't believe that we didn't find this out last time. Why didn't anyone tell me to go in here? We could have had so much more music. Law, lots of laugh. Alright, I'm going to Meltdown. Melt? Is it Melt but it's down on the list? Is that what you meant? It's DLC. Wow. I I'm sad that we're missing out on that chestnut. Romeo and Cinderella. Alright, I'm going down. Let's go to R, actually. Romeo and Cinderella. Did I pass it? No. Maybe I should have gone up. Alright, here we go. Romeo and Cinderella. Here we go.
I'm grooving. I'm grooving. Oh, let's get this shit off. All right, chat has decided. Chat has voted. And I just want everyone to know that chat has not only voted for the game we're playing, chat has also said that Hatsune game is bad. So, um, 54% of you that were just grooving and schmoovin', you think that game is bad. All right? So I just want you to know, the majority of you think that game was bad, and I was right not to play it last stream. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much for justifying all the decisions. Thank you so much. VLR Hatsune game is bad. Official, official opinion of Jad's, the stream community, weebs in general, think that Hatsune Miku is an overrated waifu and should probably just be put out the pasture, just discontinued. A different waifu can come along with better hair, better hair color, you know, better ears, you know, just, just in general, just better in every way. Okay, so there you go. Everyone knows now it's official. I don't want to hear anyone ever praise Hatsune Miku ever again without them, you know, being ostracized, all right? If you want to be a pariah of this community, all you have to do is call <laughs> Hatsune Miku. All right, let's play fucking VL VLR already. Let's go. Holy shit. Oh, man. All right, hold on. Let me, let me load it up. <laughs> All right, Virtue's last reward. All right, this concludes the uh, pre-recorded section of the video. Let's um, get into this properly. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, man, I was really nervous when that was going on. Whew. Oh, man. All right. Uh, shout out to Annie for Prez for being right on time with that. Thank you so much. I was really worried. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Start from the beginning. December 25th, 2028. We saw this last time, so we'll, we'll go through it again. I'm guessing that's us. Do we have bad on our shirt there? All right, it seems to be zero again. Hmm, Sigma. Okay, uh, one thing before we start. Um, I'm going to be freely discussing the events of the first game. So if you don't want to get spoiled on the first game, you should go watch those streams first. Um, it was pretty good. I, it's not like the best story I've ever had or the best story in, in, in gaming or anything like that. But it was very, very entertaining. Um, and if all you care about is entertainment, then it might actually be up there for you. Um, the, the stream was probably pretty pretty good for, for, for those beats. But, you know, obviously play it yourself. It's better if you play it yourself. Um, so, yeah. Uh, for now on, I'm going to be... Um, uh, uh, discussing it because right then and there I wanted to say it's it's zero um is that is that um uh, Connie again or if that even was it I'm still kind of confused on what even happened in the first game to be honest um I have questions I hope that they answer them of course it won't but uh yeah all right so let's keep going um menu okay so arch memo flow save log log all right so log is that makes sense um, save is we're gonna save it. This will save your game. Okay. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Um, so memo, you can. Oh my god. He's back. He's he's back. I can't remember how his eyes were. Claws. Ooh, that one's bigger. Uh, he has hairy feet. Thank you for the added sound effects, Gatsby. It really adds to it. 
And, oh, I don't have room for the enemy here. Okay, kind of normal hair now. All right. And should we put like a smaller version of himself on, <laughs> on the shirt that he's wearing? <laughs> Wearing his own shirt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Arch. What the hell is Arch? Help. Oh, it's like archive. File pass secret. The more you know. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's keep going. Ah. Uh, Ow, 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 Damn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Explode? Where the hell am I? Oh, obviously- Oh, we also have, um, updated, uh, plus two, minus two. From- from Caps. Thank you, Caps. Uh, new and improved. With new colors. New and improved. Thank you so much. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Looks like an elevator, but... Isn't that obvious? Isn't that obvious? Alright, so, not June. Gah. How are we doing for sound? Is it too loud, too quiet? Like, right now, we good? I can't see it. It's a touch loud. I agree, actually. It's a touch loud. I'm gonna go down to 20. Okay. Gah, who the hell are you? Um, hello? Right, okay. Why don't we have of uh, why don't we speak? What is that? Okay, let's try a different tack here. Where the hell are we? Also, while we're at it, why? No response? You always this friendly, or did I kick you while I was sleeping? Damn. No luck there either, huh? Okay, is there a way to um, go back to options menu? Cause like, can we can we increase the tech speed? Cause it's really slow. Maybe it's only slow for this scene. Let's just keep going for a bit and see. I'm plenty friendly. Ooh. What? I said I'm plenty friendly. Hey, it looks like you can talk after all. So, let's try this again. Where are we? Don't know. Don't care. Hmm. Well, it could be worse, I guess. You could have said, actually, we're stuck in a booby-trapped elevator in the bowels of a top-secret government facility where they conduct grotesque human experiments. Oh, I have to read quickly because it might go away. Okay, that's interesting. All right, what what is this design? She has, like... The flower thing. I remember, for whatever reason, thinking that this was kind of like a mix of uh, Akane and Santa. Next, I agree. It's bullshit. Yeah, I agree. Um, but what is this here? Like the like the multiple um, cords with like glass tears on them and a ring and what, what what is this? This is a very strange design. Okay. Right. Back to the first question then. Who are you? By which I mean, what's your name? Sigma. Sigma. Cute. That's my name. Okay, how do you know my name? I'm asking you what... Wait a second. How do you know my name? Yeah, how do you know my name? I haven't met you before, no, have you I? you haven't. I don't have any idea who you are. But... But what? How could you know my name if you don't have any idea who I am? How the hell am I supposed to know? Okay. I just know it, okay? That was kind of weird. Hey, hey. No need to bite my head off. It's just, you're not really making sense here. And you still haven't told me who you are. Shut up! Just back off, Grandpa! Whoa, Grandpa? Grandpa? I just don't know, alright? It's just kind of... there. Like, I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said... That's Sigma. 
No, it's it's that's a Sigma male, and it just so happens that I changed my name to go with my my rarity type. Sigma is like the Mewtwo of males. It's like the best you can get. It's the rarest type. Just absolutely, just the rarest traits of of all time, with the Sigma males. Hold on a second. What do you think this thing is? Make YouTube videos with tigers in the intro for some reason. Respect women. Very, very rare. Very rare. Huh? This bracelet? See, you've got one too. They're pretty much identical. So what's the pair mean? See, from the first game, they like to put things in that just hide kind of in plain sight. So, like... Would they account for that? Would they know people coming in would be looking for shit? And, like, if I was going to do that, I'd put red herrings in. Um, th this looks like there's a lot of space on this screen for more than this. Hmm, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Where'd they come from? It was on already when I woke up. I haven't figured out what it's for yet, though. Well, doesn't seem like it's a watch, does it? No. It's just got a three and the word pair. <sighs> what are you doing? Trying to get it off. It's hard though because um, Sigma males don't have dominant hands. It's one of our rare Sigma traits. Um, you might you might be hearing that and you might be like, wow, he's ambidextrous. No, that's not what I said. I, I said I don't have a dominant hand. Like, you give me a pen, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't, like, I'm both equally useless hands. Good luck. Yep, thank you. I spent you. a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. It's on pretty tight. It doesn't even have a clasp or anything. What about these buttons on the sides? I pressed them, but nothing happened. <laughs> Not even a beep. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Nothing. What is this in the background? It looks kind of like a the like machinery. And we have a... Oh, I guess this is going to be an escape room, right? In the button. Okay, yeah, of course it is. This is the game. Shit. Directions for the fire extinguisher. Damn it. What the hell is going on here? Somebody better start explaining or... Hey, look. There's what? something on that screen over there. Wait, what? How are you feeling? All right, so we're right back to where we're at the beginning now. All right, let's just take a minute. We're on the precipice here. How's it going, Dragon's Den? How's it going? Here we go. Hi, Daddy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Play Miku. Oh wow, look at all these people that want to be shunned in Dragon's Den. Wow. Wow, that's that's a a minority opinion around here. <laughs> All right, let me close that. All right, back into it. All right. Is this game going to be as incomprehensible as the last one? Says Moonbrick in chat. Um, I don't know. I was told that the first one is the most grounded of the three, which is very daunting and also very exciting. Um, so we'll we'll find out. I'm I'm just you know kind of just taking a moment here to be you know like pfft, there's a there's a talking bunny puppet um, talking to me on a screen, but can somehow blink. So I'm guessing it's not a puppet unless it's like a very very convincing robot thing. I, I don't know. Oh, all right. Oh, here we go. I am Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom. Well, what the hell is that? A rat? A rat? No, obviously not. What? Oh uh, no, pretty sure it's a rabbit. Okay. Are you animal blind? Is that going to be a thing later? I'm sure you've got lots of questions. No, not really. It just seems silly to have a big old chit chat right now. So, I'm going to give you a game to play. <laughs> a game? Yes, yes, yes. And I'm calling it. You like the first game? It's trash. 
An honorary game. Damn, okay. Junae's been hitting the math. Oh, okay. What's ambidex in this context? There's more to it. Lots more. But if I told you now, that would be cheating. Oh, is there 18 people this time instead of 9? So, hurry up and get out. I'll be waiting. In my swimsuit. <laughs> hey, hold on. Who the hell? This elevator you're in, it's going to fall in a few minutes. Way down. Why is this so slow? <laughs> For fall. Yes, indeed. So you'd better get moving. Okay, you can hear me too. All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> Not pre-recorded. What is this tail? This is like a, a, a squirrel tail. Have a nice trick. Trick? Yeah, yeah, see you next fall. That joke wasn't any funnier in elementary school. Oh, the MIO got him. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? Don't tell me you're impressed. Oh, for the love of... Damn it. Damn it. God damn it. This is bullshit. That stupid rabbit didn't tell us anything. How are we even supposed to get out of here? Oh well, I guess whining about it isn't going to help anybody. We won't be able to get any answers if we can't get out of here. You with me? No. Come on, just nod or something. I don't die here any more than you. Okay. Let's go. We're off to a slow start here in in VLR. Oh, escape! Do we get to see what we look like? Seek a way out. Okay, are we are we jumpy again? Did jumpy like you know fall down the the alt right rabbit hole and then and then uh, literally and then come out the other end as a fucking sigma male and forgets everything? Like alt right is linked to that kind of area, isn't it? I actually don't know much about it. Is that is that a whole other area? Like like. I, I, I kind of conflate the area of Sigma Male with, with like, um, pickup artists and also negging. And then that would enter, like, the alt-right kind of sphere of, like, going over to, you know, women and just, you know, like, ah, oh, you know, you, you, see a, you see a six and a seven next to, next to each other. Then you go over and you hit on the six with the seven wants more inches. And you're like, oh, man, I'm the fucking Joker. You know, like, I'm the Sherlock Holmes of picking up women. Meanwhile, they go home, like, completely alone every single night. You know, um, like, that, that's, that's where, that's the area I put the Sigma Male grind set in like is that right or no like is like that's the, i don't know much about it i just want to make jokes you know blindly um yeah how do you know so because i have to go on twitter sometimes okay like you have no idea all right the, the, the shit people thing put post on there new mail type just dropped and it's some weird guy that has like some pictures of fucking animals coming up when before he goes up and puts his hand under his chin like strokey beard and it's like ma i'm actually a sigma male the rarest male like I really, really like watching John Wick over and over and over again. That's one of our traits, you know? Like, I, I even like the third one, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Anyway, the game consists of two sections, the escape portion and the novel portion. All right, we're always on normal mode. The goal of the escape... Por Sorry, novel mode. The go goal of the escape portion is to escape from whatever room you're in, hence the name. First, click anything on the screen that catches your attention. Okay, is it highlighted this time? Because that's a big change. You can change the camera angle by dragging the cursor a lot across the screen. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay, that is a... A big... Ch Hold on, are there actual... How many different kind of angles are there? Can I, like... How much finesse is here? A fair amount, actually. Okay, can I go up? No? What the hell is that? When you see the word zoom in cyan in the top right corner of your screen, the game is in zoom mode. To return to your normal view from zoom mode, press the escape key, drag downward, or click the cyan triangle at the bottom of the screen. I felt like I, I started going somewhere and I forgot where I was going with it and I just moved on. Was I supposed to say something else? Did I have a question? Oh, well, who cares? This is how this stream's going. Alright, I want this. Fire extinguisher pin. All right. Well, now it's gonna come out, isn't it? No, no, no. You have to, you have to press it after it. Yeah. Okay. Examine. What's with the? 
That's the fire extinguisher pin. You'll find two types of items in the game, hints in the item in item form, and items you can use in some way. In order to use an item, click whatever you want to use it on while holding the item. Whatever item is in the front of the is in the front of the on the item screen is the item you are currently holding. A picture of it will also appear in the item icon you're holding it. Okay. Pin for the fire extinguisher. Alright, let's go. The screen that's just appeared is called the item screen. While on the item screen, you can inspect items you found and combine or hold them. To access the item screen during an escape, click the item icon, which you can find in the top left corner of the screen. Okay, so this is like... Oh man, you're, you're holding it like a metal. Holy shit. Um, the item icon will show whatever item you're currently holding. Alright. Cool. Alright, so can I... I wonder if we could just bash the door down with a fire extinguisher. No? I think I'll let you try that. It's probably full of explosives. The only thing that's going to get extinguished is you. Oh, got him. Hey, hey come on now. Is that scary? Uh, what? Sigma males will emit when they're scared. It's a, one of their rare traits. What do you think this means? Hell if I know. It's just a bunch of pictures of babies and old people. Why don't you see if you can get it off the wall? Some things you come across and collect won't be stored with the rest of your items. Instead, they'll be put in the file. To look at and review them, just click the archive button in the menu and then navigate to the tab called file. All right. File. Poster in the elevator. Try counting the number of babies and old people. Life would be infinitely happier if we could only be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18. Like, you want a Benjamin Button? That was a bad movie. Try counting the number of babies and old people. Okay, well, you're not a baby and you're not a baby. One, two, three, ba four babies? Four babies? Oh man, you know, it's like I'm home. All right, and um, one, two, three, four, five, six old people? Seven, seven old people. Okay, and one, two, three kids? And I don't know what you are. Okay. To click, to exit zoom mode, try drag downward. Okay. If you need the controls, click the menu button. Okay. Yep. 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 All right. So it's seven, right? Huh? Why'd you light? Why'd it light up? It didn't do anything earlier. Maybe that was because the game hadn't started yet. So you think this button does something? Don't know. Let's take another look at it. Okay. And the other one was four. Okay. Was I wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, definitely seven old people. But are you, do you count as old people and do you count as babies? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four babies. All right, let's, maybe we have to do something else while that's active. Okay. This is the case. The fire extinguisher. Sure. Let me see if I can open it. Damn, no good. Is it locked? Looks that way. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, Sigma. I think you might have what we need to open this. You mean this? Oh yeah, the pin from the fire extinguisher. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might fit in that keyhole. Come on, give it a try. Sure. All right. Sigma grind set wins the day again. Hmm, looks like it worked. Excellent. Okay, time to see what's inside. Screwdrivers. What's this? Polyurethane packaging. Oh. What? There are a few pieces of metal in here. Four of them. They look like sockets for socket wrenches. Each one has different a different shape, though. Yeah. Well, might as well take them. Tip of a socket wrench. Are we taking all of them? Okay. Oh, why didn't we just take the box? Okay, so that's showing how to get in there. What are these things? So why are these colored like this? Oh, hey, this end is loose. Can you take it off? Let's see. Oh, okay. Probably handled for some kind of tool. The grip is red. 
Some items can be combined with others to make new items. <clears throat> Excuse me. To combine items, start by navigating to the first item you want to combine, then click the combine button. Once you've done that, navigate to the second item so they appear. Okay, combine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from the first game. Yep. Yeah, okay, so combine with. Um, uh, yeah, combine. Okay, we did it. Can we uncombine? You cannot combine these items. Okay. I'm guessing there's four of these. Okay, I'm guessing we're supposed to look at the shape, but like, why why bother when you can just, you know, brute force it in five seconds? Okay, do the colors matter? Yellow soccer wrench, yellow soccer wrench, okay. Haven't looked at this yet. Haven't looked at this yet. Oh, okay. Oh, lucky we had the yellow one equipped. All right, how do I switch? Is it E or Q or what? What was it again? Z. There's got to be a button to easily easily switch. Oh, oh. It's still bolted on, genius. If you're not you're not finished, why am I your servant? V. Thank you. Excellent. That's the red bolt gone. Hmm. Looks like you got it off. All right. That's the green bolt off. Yeah, good job. You're a regular mechanic. All right. Doesn't bode well for the rest of the game. Right, so I've got all the bolts off now. Ready? I'm going to open it. What are you asking me for? Okay, okay, geez. My God, what I always wanted. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! No! Oh no! Why? No! No! There are a number of many games you play during an escape. Controls and the rules are generally good to you. There are the many games you can do. Sometimes you can do the instructions. You can't solve a minigame. Just quit by clicking back to the screen. <laughs> you keep trying though. The other characters might start to give you hints. They only do this when you're playing in easy mode though. Is it easy? What mode are we on? So remember, if you get stuck on a mini game, give it several tries before you switch the difficulty to easy. What's this? It looks like some kind of maze. Do you think we're supposed to solve this? Probably. All right, I'm on it. You need to move the green block from the top left to the blue square on the bottom right. You can move the green and red blocks up and down as well as sideways by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. All right, how do I switch it to easy so I know not to do that? What? I want, no, stop, stop here. Oh, oh, okay, I can't. All right, I can't stop here. All right, Um. then what? Yeah, all right. Complete. Sweet. I did it. You're pretty good. Thanks. Humph. This is kid stuff. I could do this with my eyes closed. No, 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 no. Let's not say that. No. Oh, look at this. Hmm? Something came out of the box. Oh, yeah. Is this a memory card? Oh, man. Let's delete some saves. A, B. A green memory card, huh? Yeah, I got it from the maze. Okay, where does that go? We're not taking it with us? The maze I just solved. Alright, let's stick it in here. What's the deal with this slit? You mean slot, right? <sighs> oh, no, that's how Sigma males say that. They're the same thing. What does it matter what we call it? It's a hole to put cards into. We don't know things go into it. Okay, really? Okay. Seven, four. Seven, four, three, two. What? Did you just hear a noise? What noise? Um, I think it was over here somewhere. Um. I don't know what I did. What did I do? That's a memory card. I was just going through the um the the old people, and then I was like, okay, seven four, and then I was like, there were three 
um, middle kids, and then I was going to do two normal adults, and then all of a sudden it's just done. I don't understand. Did I just have to hit three? That's a memory card. It came out of the control panel, remember? Yeah, it's red, okay? You'll find two types of items in the game. Hints in the item form, items you can use in some way. In order to use an item, click whatever. Okay, I want to hold it. Okay, picture appear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what is it? A red memory card. Okay, that's it. All right, can I combine them somehow? No, I didn't think so. All right, can I put the green one in now? Green one in. No. Okay, I don't... Did I just have to hit three? There it is. It's right here. All right, we're... All right, this is just a fucking memory card dispenser. All right, cool. That's the memory card that came out. It's blue. All right. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's go up to eight. All right, nine, five, four. Seven, four, three, two. Two, three, four, four, seven. All right, that seems about it. All right. Oh, I saw it in chat. Okay, sorry. One, one, zero, three, seven. Sorry, I can only do I can only do one once. Okay. Um. I don't know what this does. Alright, let's go over here. No, I want to go down here. What's this? A square metal box. Looks like a safe. Yeah. I wonder what's inside. Something someone wants to keep safe. What else would you put in a safe? Oh, is that why they're called a safe? Well, what do you think it could be? A cracker. What the hell's so important about a cracker? Okay. Why is the text size changing? How about a tie deposit box? A, a what? Oh, you mean there was an actual like cracker you could eat in there, not like a, you, we could crack the safe. What's even mean? Who is this character? Let's try and open it. Give me some Wikipedia history. You have no idea who you're being compared to right now. How? Well, there's some kind of pa pad on the front with a 3x3 three three grid, right? I'm guessing that's how you open it. Right? Let's give it a shot then. Each escape room has a safe somewhere. These safes have two passwords, one for escaping and one for a hidden file. When you open the safe using the escape password, you'll get a key that will allow you to leave the room you're in. If you open the safe with a hidden file password in hard mode, you'll get a gold file. If you do the same in easy mode, you'll get a silver file instead. Okay, so this is like an optional thing? The gold and silver files contain supplementary facts and background information that will give the novel sections added depth, but are not necessary for escaping. In order to escape and continue the game, you must open the safe with the escape password. Okay, I don't, I don't understand what this is. I guess we'll find out. All right, what's the password? Moon, moon. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um. All right, moon, 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 moon. No. Okay, let's channel my Nagito luck here for a second. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the the, the ones into numbers. I'm gonna go two three one. Now I'm gonna go one three two. Now I'm gonna go three one two. No three two one. Three two one. No, nope, it failed. No, nope, it didn't work. Okay. Junae, I need help. Junae. Oh, Hajime. Junae, help me. Okay, I don't, I don't, I, I, I obviously cannot work this out, right? So, I have to, um, like, get the answer from somewhere? Okay. Damn, no luck. Well, of course not. You're not going to get far just guessing. We need to find a clue. All right. Okay, memory cards. I got a blue memory card in my hand. Put it in. All right. Hey, it turned on. Looks like this thing is working now. All right, now the can I, can I use it? The screen's glowing with strange light. All right, now the green one. Got a green memory card in my hand. Let's see what happens to put it in. Oh, now it turned green. All right, now red. What the heck is this? 
Maybe it's some kind of password. All right, so star, sorry. Well, it is a star. Sun, star, moon. Okay, stun, sun, star, moon. A password. Got a notepad or something? Uh, actually, I do. Hold on. Alright, sun, star, moon. <sighs> sun, star, moon. Can I write? Sun. Star. Moon. Alright, there we go. And then when I go, it'll overlay it, right? Like the other one? No, not really. Then you'll just have to remember this. You think you can handle that? Yeah, of course. I'm always remembering shit. You found an escape password. To view it, visit the archive now. Oh, we can just view it. Never mind. I thought maybe I'd have to keep them. All right, let's go down. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we did this already. Okay, can I can I actually overlay it? All right, so it's really works. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> All right, sun, star, moon. Completed. Ha, that's it. You did it. Good job. Huh. Piece of kake. Is this a key? Hey, it is a key. We found it. Awesome. Now hurry up and use it. Okay. Alright, we can get out now? No? The key we found in the safe. There's only one place I can use this. Is there? Is there something on here? Oh. Well, that doesn't use the key, huh? This isn't what it showed us last time. Hmm, a different password. You found a hidden file password. To view it, visit the archive and navigate the past tab. Oh no, I missed it! Alright, it was star star something. Alright, is it the same one? Is something else going to be in there now? Was it moon moon something else? No. There we go. Completed. Uh, what? Huh? That's odd. I opened this password too. Hmm, maybe it has two types of passwords. And what, is there like a revolving thing in there? Is that what the circle thing is back here? It's like, Rrr. look, it has different stuff in it now. Yeah, you're right. It's got a false back. See, you can just flip around. Kind of like those hidden passages and mentions and stuff. Okay, well, next time we open one, then we're just going to force the false back, right? So if you put a different password, you'll get different stuff. I think so. Right, well, that's enough of that. Grab the stuff. Yeah, let's get out of here. You found a gold file. See what's inside, visit the archive, and navigate to the red secret tab. Pass. A, B room, A, B gate. How what the fuck is this shit? Why is there so much? This is the where you play the A, B game. It appears to be an elevator car. There are six A, B rooms in the warehouse on floor A. From the left, they're referred to as first, second, third, etc. The interior of each room is identical to the others, with a voting device on the wall. Voting? On the wall, and a hatch in the ceiling. What? This refers... Okay, so that I can just go to the right. This refers to the door of the AB room. Most elevator doors open horizontally, but this one opens and closes vertically. Most elevators also include a safety feature that prevents the door from closing if anything obstructs it. These, do these doors have no such safety feature. Each participant has a bracelet attached to their left wrist. If a participant breaks the rules or fails to fulfill certain conditions... So is this like the, um, the what, what you would call it? Um... Uh, this is the zero manifest. What do you mean, literally spoilers? What do you mean? The game just fucking gave me a file and said, go fucking read it. What the fuck are you talking about, chat? What do you mean, do not read? What? What do you mean? I'm a Sigma male. I can't read. What What? the, what the fuck? You, what? What? What, you, what the fuck are you talking about? This, this feels like the zero fucking manifesto. What? What do you mean? It's literally spoilers. Plus two?
Game is dumb, it gives you spoilers? What the fuck do you mean? The game is dumb and it gives you spoilers. It's dev commentary files? How's it going, Dragon's Den? Am I being bamboozled? Chat is going so fast right now. Chat is going so fast right now. If you want to admit that you're straight and no one will know, now's the time. Oh, Larry David's back! Oh, man. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. This feels like novel mode versus advanced mode. So I just need to find out, are the same people who... Okay, how, how am I going to do this? Okay, I need to, I need four options. All right, hold on. I need, I need a, a four gate. Hold on, hold on. I know how to do this. Hold on. I know how to solve this puzzle. This, this is the real escape room. All right, manage poll. All right. Pick one. Read gold plus novel is best. Read gold plus Advance is best. Don't read plus novel is best. Don't read plus advance is best. All right, this this does all of them and we're gonna make it a one minute poll, all right? All right, so here's what I want. If 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 the advanced mode is best, people are way higher than the re with the re with the read gold. Then I will know that this is the best decision. But if it's all the novel mode people want me to read the gold, then then okay, then I know that that I shouldn't read it. And vice versa on the negative. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. No, only one mode. I know there's only one mode there, but I'm talking about this. This feels like the whole what what should you do? Should you read it or not? And the the novel mode people last stream were insane. So if if it's the same people this time, they're like, yeah, you should read the gold thing. But they're also the psychopaths that are like, I like the mode where it says everything four times. Then I know I shouldn't read the gold. You know what I mean? Whereas if if the people who are like advanced mode is the best and you should read the gold, then I know it's the people who are like I like novel mode are the ones that are trying to make me not do something here okay now uh, so here we go here we go all right view results man advanced mode is best is all, all also winning over novel mode okay all right this looks like a slam dunk oh man novel novel mode version uh, uh weebs are in shambles right now oh man the btfo oh Oh, 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 this was the real reason for the poll. Oh, man, you guys fell for it. Oh, man, hook, line, and sinker. Oh, man, look at the novel mode readers just blast it out. Oh, 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 man. All right. All you novel mode readers like, no, I want my vote to count, so I'm going to go on advanced mode this time. You know, I'm just going to false flag to get through this, and now, oh, no, I inadvertently just criticized my beloved novel mode. Oh, no, it's oh, two, two polls in a row. Just, oh, man. Oh man, Lamayo got him. Lamayo got him. All right, so it seems like Don't Read has it. Okay, Don't Read also wins on novel mode. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, that seems really clear. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. Good thing this isn't a democracy. Each participant has a bracelet attached to their left wrist. If a, a participant breaks the rules or fails to fulfill certain conditions, then set of then set of four needles in the bracelet will inject them with two chemicals in succession. There are only two situations which will cause the bracelet. 
there are only two situations which will cause the bracelet to come out. The person wearing it completes the game and escapes. The heart of the person wearing it stops beating. Attempting to break the bracelet or attempting to force it off will be considered a violation of the rules. Alright. Alright, now I'm not going to read anymore. Alright, we're done. Alright, are we out of here now? I wonder if I can just force it open. Oh, there's the key up there. Oh, I, I it was a part of I couldn't see. Damn, no good. Stupid thing won't even budge. Trying to force it is pointless. We need to find another way out. Hmm. You ready? I'm gonna put the key in. You don't need to ask me every time you're going to do something. I agree with girl. Just hurry it up. Right, right, I know. Are you gonna be named after another month as well? And we're gonna be like, hmm, what a coincidence. Here goes. Are you like May or July? Start talking and do it. June 2. Yes, it unlocked. Hmm. So now we just have to open this panel. Oh, dude, push it. Once you leave this elevator, the novel section of the game will... Oh, no, not novel section! For more information on the controls for the novel section, have a look at the help section of the in the archive. All right, thank you, Tutorial Bunny. Just do it. All right, all right, message received. Here we go. Three, two, one. Zero. And push. Oh, I thought we were going... Oh, oh, oh. How did we know to look up there? It opened a hatch in the ceiling. What? Why does an elevator have a ceiling hatch? Every elevator has a ceiling hatch. What? Who the fuck are you, Sigma Male? Oh, Sigma Males always take the stairs. Ah, that makes sense. He does, he's never been in an elevator before. He's never been in an elevator before. Okay, all right, that makes sense. You found it. Okay, I'm finding it a little sus that we're not seeing what we look like. All right, it's open. Now, let, I got just got an achievement, but I didn't read it. I'm sorry. Now, let's get the hell out of here. What? What's wrong? Oh, yeah. I guess it's a little high for you, huh? Well, give her a boost, you monster. I'd say that's at least six feet, maybe more. Uh, uh, what? Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Six feet from, from your head? Because, like... Like, no. Are Sigma males tall or short? What's what's that gonna be? I don't wanna height pride or height shame, but what what's what's rarer? Sigma Sigma males are always the rarest trait. So is it rarer to be like I don't know, um four foot something or like seven foot one you know i don't want to be on the extreme end what's rarer that's a good question actually is is height like on a on a bell curve or like like uh, i guess that doesn't matter math is there who cares all right I'd, at least at least six feet maybe more all right then climb up on my shoulders Your shoulders uh oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, are you gonna fall on our face when? Okay, and that's how we're gonna find out what we look like. Yeah, that's anime. That's probably about right. Why? Is something wrong? What? What's that look supposed to mean? What do you think I'm gonna do? Oh come on. I'm just trying to be rational here. No ulterior motive. Hand to God. I'm a sigma male. Not like I'm hoping to get my face sandwiched between a girl's bare thighs or. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> what the hell? Sick bastard. I was just kidding. Right. Look, I'm just trying to get us out of here. You got any brilliant ideas that don't involve your thighs? Is is she wearing pants or a skirt or what? Fine. On your knees. Okay, this uh, uh, uh this is getting better mommy sorry M mommy sorry mommy sorry uh, mommy sorry mommy sorry what you're, you're... tall for me to just jump up on your shoulders okay that's true yeah and i'm certainly not going to give you the satisfaction of making me climb so neil 
<laughs> it's what the fuck? Okay, did we need this to add? To, I guess we did. All right. Uh, there we bring it on. Thanks. A little step up is just what I needed. Oh. Uh, okay. Who is this character? What? Wait. What are you going to? Here we go. Oh, she is wearing a skirt. Okay, she has a jacket on. Alright. She can fly. No, she jumped up. How in the hell? That is way taller than six feet. Alright, give me your hand. Oh, uh. What the heck are well, you? I'm not Superman, that's for sure. Oh, I'm sorry, can she actually fly? And I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or Merman or a Wolfman. Okay, um, so you're Doctor Strange, Iron Man. You didn't. You didn't rule out those. Just these ones. I'm not a Brahmin or Common or Raman. I'm not a Cayman either, so you don't really need to worry about anything. Okay. My name is Fi. Fi. Pfizer. Were you so vaccinated that you can fly now? What Fi? Fi. Fi and I feel like is this a, a, a like a symbol too like like sigma like I don't really know those all that well. Fi. Fi. Okay. I guess you could say, I am no man. I miss June. Just come on. One of these days, witch king. Oh, we're just we're just riffing Lord of the Rings over here. Okay, Geralt. All right. Nine. Two milkmen go comedy. No soap radio. What the fuck is this? Okay, so this doesn't look bad, but man oh man does this look so much worse than the first game. The first game has like, I would, close to like a timeless quality to it, I guess. Maybe this looked better when you, when this was more of a, um, a novelty when it first came out. Like, I don't think this looks bad. It looks, it's definitely like workable. Like I'm not like, Ugh, I can barely play this, it's fine. Um, but like, man, oh man, did the, fir the first game still looked pretty good, you know, like it, it could have come out now and maybe the resolution could have been upped a little bit and things could have been tidied up a little bit, but like, yeah, pretty good. Um, all right. Well, what's up with this place? Sure doesn't look like an elevator shaft. Flow? Some kind of warehouse, maybe. Or a hangar. So we were in an elevator that doesn't elevate. Yeah. It wasn't going to go anywhere. When that rabbit said it was going to fall, he was just screwing with us. So it would seem. He? I was under the impression it was a girl rabbit. Then why? Forget it. Look. More people. Is that grown-up Santa? Lotus is back? Uh, magician man and NPC from Oblivion I don't know okay all right interesting all right more people it's like an old guy a young man two girls and a kid they're all wearing bracelets probably safe to assume they're trapped here too okay I wish we could see where we are because I want to see how this what we were in just fits into the context of the room I guess it's gonna show us in a second okay Right, well, let's go say hi then. <laughs> mommy? Sorry, mommy? So, okay. Lotus again? Mummy? Mummy? Sorry. Mummy? Sorry. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
hey there, hey, hey. Any of you guys know what the hell is going on here? No, we don't. Okay, woman A. I haven't been out here much longer than you. Alright, that does sound like Lotus, doesn't it? Does the A stand for all ice? They grabbed you too, huh? What are you? Okay. Grabbed. Okay, definitely not Santa, unless there's been some age shenanigans. Oh yeah, I got in my car. I went to start the engine, and then there was this white smoke. I think we all shared that particular experience. Voice also sounds familiar, but not necessarily from the last game. Blue bird in a cage? Alright. The smoke seems to be some kind of general anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. That sounds like Junei for sure, but maybe it's not. All five of in one all five of you were in one elevator? No. Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but Dio? Wait. Which of you is Dio? That would be me. Hey Dio. This little guy here is Quark. Are you sure? Nice to meet you, mister. Uh, right, nice to meet you too. I'm Sigma? Okay, so what about the rest of you? Tenmi, OG, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Either L L Lotus changing name or it just so happens to be someone else who who looks like that and is named Alice. I, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Ten, ten, ten Miyoji. I can't remember how you said Ten Miyoji, Alice, and Luna. All right. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you got it right. So you'd be Temioji then, right, sir? No, I'm Luna. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Alice is me. God, I would have loved it if you said me that. Then She's there. Luna. Okay. Okay, maybe not Lotus. I'm not really good at placing voices. Hello. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Oh, you're Rise. Oh shit. The, right? Am I right? It's fucking senpai, right? Yeah? It's Risei? Yeah! Alright. Oh, man. Alright. Best game. Best game. Alright. Hey. Nice to meet you, too. What's she so nervous about? And you are? Right. Uh, I'm Sigma. And this bundle of laughs is Fi. Good to meet you all, I guess. Say that again. What? And this malnourished harpy is fine. <laughs> Better? <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> um, are you two? Ha. Huh. Not likely. I mean, if she was down, then yeah. But no, not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other. I think. You think? You think? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Okay, don't we want to talk about that? Or no? We met just now in that elevator. That's the truth. Uh, yeah. See your bracelet there. Can we ask um, her if she knows everyone else's names ahead of time too? Or no? We're not asking questions. It's it's Kojima. Huh? Oh yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. All right. I have bad news, chat. I need to pee, and we're only an hour in. I'll I'll try and soldier th on for another forty-five minutes. We'll see. And yours. Fi, right? Now let me have a look. <sighs> I thought so. What? Look, you and Dio show them your bracelets. They're gonna be six. What? There's th wait, hold on. There's three as well. Just like Fi and I. No, wait. The color's different. All right, blue three and red three. Ours are red. And yours are blue. Oh, sharp eye there. Thanks. What about yours, uh, sir? Ten Miyoji, right? Hmm. Ten. Ooh. Ten. Show him yours too, ladies. 
Solo. Three. Oh. Red, blue, and green? They're different. Why is everyone three? You've all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Right. You figure it out then? Figure what out? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. All right, where's the green pair then? But Tenmi, Oji, Alice, and Luna were all solos, so... So they got put in their own separate elevators. <laughs> Okay, that's great and all, but what do pair and solo mean? Don't got the foggiest idea. I mean, I think that you do. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we're split up like this either. <sighs> Does anybody know what the three means? Maybe it has something to do with the game. Game? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. You guys saw him too, right? That rabbit thing. Yes. In the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. Your voice your voice is familiar too. The others explained that after they'd escaped from their own elevators, they'd gone around the warehouse E room where we were in and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They had been about to try and open this door, the one with the nine on it, when Phi and I appeared. So, any chance this one will open? Alright, so is it all to do with threes then? So, you can do like... Okay, does the three pair count as a six? Or does it count as a three? So you could have two three pairs and a solo to make three three nine three 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 nine, right? Or does it count as two pair three is a six, and then another solo three would make it nine there too? Um, I guess we'll find out. Assuming it is even the same rules, so any chance this one will open? <laughs> Looks like it. Done it last if there was. <laughs> There's some sort of, I don't know, machine off to the left here, but... Okay, it's weird they're just kind of throwing us into this instead of there being a big meetup thing like last time. That's interesting. I like that it's different. Well, give it a shot, why don't you? Hmm. Looks like force probably isn't going to work either. Much more professional this time. Damn. Well, I didn't really think that'd work anyway. I don't think you'll be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. All right, well, how about those three doors over there? I told you already. Oh, each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock, and we can't break down the door. Okay, Lotus could do it, though. Lotus, hey, Lotus. I mean, sorry, Alice. Go over and do it. You sure about that? Why would I lie? I don't think you're lying. I just think you're wrong. What is he wearing? Okay, are there any other ways out? No, unfortunately. Not that we've found anyway. Okay, I feel like this didn't get enough attention. What? What is this? Like, if she runs, is it suddenly rated R? Like, is, is like, I don't, like, what's going on here? It's fashion, is it? This is very strange. Great. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. Is it what you're wearing? And that is? I was the first to escape. Okay. That means I know who was in which elevator. Ah, okay. So these are the rooms that we were in. Okay, is someone else going to come out? Because that'd be kind of cool. Pair, pair, solo, solo, solo. So is this another one over here or no? I watched all of you come out after all. And? Well. Pair, pair, solo, solo, solo. So there's one left? I was in the one third from the right. Tenmyoji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think. Mm, good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Yes. 
That's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's, right? Yeah, we did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in the third elevator from the left. Wait then, who's here? Sap the coal. Okay, so later on, all the letters arranged don't make a word, except one of us lied about their name, and if you change that to a different letter, then suddenly it spells Leon. Like, I, like what? I don't see a word out of this, but I'm not very good at anagrams. Okay. Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Okay. Are you... Are you saying there's still someone in there? And they're dead. I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Okay, they all say ambidex room on it, though. Okay, that's kind of weird. Can you guys pair off then, maybe? Maybe we should go take a look. <laughs> Did everyone get the same puzzle? Hey, anybody in there? I can't solve the puzzle, help! If you can hear me, just, I don't know, make some noise. Nothing. Hey, look at this! Ambidex, room. Is that some kind of card reader? Under the table. Maybe it unlocks it or something. There is one next to each door. Can't wait for you to go crazy with a stick later. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Well, it says it on all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about. Oh, the Nonary Game Ambidex Edition? Can we get a flashback real quick? <laughs> Ambidex Edition! Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. We're Mark Wahlberg, I've decided. That's what we are. Sigma male, Mark Wahlberg. Yep, for sure. Any we got a key card? Nah. I got nothing. Not even dirt. So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. Well, not everything. The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious that Dio was right. Isn't that obvious? My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in the creases. Maybe there's no one in there. Okay. You look like a magician that would have some secret pockets, though, that someone would be able to find. No, there is. There's gotta be. But what makes you so sure? I just know. Huh? Uh, well, um... <gasps> What's that? Oh god, I hope it's a catchy. Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! Well How is Alice not the most ridiculous person in the room? What the who the hell? Hello? Clover? Clover? Are you okay? Clover! Clover! Wake up! Man, Clover's been hitting the sauce pretty hard in the years between this game and the last one. Alright, what's going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Oh, fuck. Was Lotus's name Alice the whole time and she just never said? We never found out the name, right? It was her name just fucking Alice? Nothing. Nothing? She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry though. Hmm. She should be alright. Okay. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since they kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but what? 
<laughs> so we weren't we weren't allowed to keep our lint, but Zero let you keep your fucking cyberpunk steampunk crossover cosplay suit? What? I'm afraid I don't understand what you mean. Where are we? Did you get to have two hot dogs as well? And who are you? That's your question? What are you? <laughs> well, hold on. I agree with Sigma. How about you tell us who you are first? Yeah. You leap out of that box dressed like some kind of robot carrying an unconscious girl and we've only got your word that you didn't make her that way? Okay, me and Sigma are like really, you know, the field is, is, is linking us pretty hard right now. I think you owe us an explanation, pal. I agree. Pal, that's my name. Pal. I'm... I don't remember. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, uh... I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, who I am, or even what day it is. Okay, can you take the, the, the suit off? If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you share that information. Not knowing one's identity is... vexing. Okay, it's Snake for sure, right? Oh yeah, very original. The amnesiac routine. Uh-huh. Please. How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this... this... this robot suit? We can't even see your face! What robot suit? Are you gonna tell someone forced you into that thing? I assume so? It seems the most reasonable explanation. When I woke up, I was wearing this... armor, I suppose you could call it. Okay, take it off. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look? That's an odd choice of words. I agree. I'm wearing a mask. How would you know how I look? It's it's a, you know, a figure of speech. Like, your your general demeanor is fine. You know what I meant, you yeah. smartass. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I'm on Team 10, actually. You can go fuck yourself. Uh... uh oh. She's waking up. Okay. Clover! It's a different Clover. Are you okay? Alright, Clover's in her Olsen years, I guess. Alright, what the hell is this shit? Come on, talk to me! Okay. How... this... where... are we? Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero and the Nonary game, and then her eyes went wide. What? Oh, you're happy to be back! Yay! Is it even the same Clover? No. No, that can't... The blood drained from her face, and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. Not again! What did she know? As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to questioning the, the mysterious man in the mask. When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose... when I was born. I don't remember anything of my life. Assuming I had one. Okay, this guy has a Reddit account for sure. We asked him everything we could think of. Birthday, address, occupation, family, childhood, but all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. Okay. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized facts, abilities they've learned, but anything that has to do with um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological. But in very rare instances, it has been shown to result from severe head trauma. Okay, are you the Wikipedia possum of this game? Because I hope so. Do you have any idea what might have caused it? Hmm. Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> 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 nah, you've... you've that's that you wouldn't be in a relationship ever break up. No, 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 senpai. Did you know that jet fuel can't melt steel beams? He was making a laughing sort of noise, but his expression didn't change. He he has a mask on, my dude. Of course it didn't change. 
With the mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not, but his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. Okay. Bullshit. I agree with Dio. This guy's obviously full of it. Uh-huh. Tell me you're actually buying this. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. All right, so in this game, novel mode isn't um uh what you call it isn't isn't optional. Okay, that's terrifying. Uh, so far, it's been not too bad with repetition, but all right. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man per se, only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. Oh, we're on a boat. There was a bracelet on his wrist too. Close inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm like ours and not simply part of his suit. And just like ours, ours, his had a three on it. It's a kind of a different kind of thing though. Or is, what, is, is he like, oh, tw twist, he actually isn't a human in a robot suit. He's just a fucking robot. It said pair below the three and all the text was bright green. I just forgot that I was actually a robot, because the amnesia deleted that too somehow. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. How long had we been there? It still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head. And my brain felt foggy and cluttered. So does mine, IRL, actually. Had I been asleep for hours, days, there was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me and given me the bracelet instead. And unless it happened to be three right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. <laughs> Who has a favorite watch? With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped and we wouldn't have had the first idea. Damn it. No dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Yeah, well, I just thought. There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators. I don't think it's a card reader, though. Huh? Hey, what do you think that is? What? The graffiti over there. Why don't we have a voice? It's so weird. See? On the wall? Oh, yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two Milkman Go Comedy. Okay, is that an anagram? Because that's a very weird sentence. Okay. Two Milkman Go Comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. It means two milkmen got tired of delivering milk and started their stand-up careers. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to be coconut. <laughs> Still just kind of sounds like nonsense, though. I think it's somebody's <laughs> way of saying hello. Uh, what? You heard me. Yeah, I did. I just... What the hell was that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. An anagram? Yeah. They tried a lot of names before they worked it down to Tella. Come on, seriously? Uh... I wouldn't say minus two, but not a plus two for sure. Not a plus two, but not a minus two. I, you know, zero. Zero. You've never heard of an anagram. It's a kind of, um... Wordplay, where you move the letters around to create something else. Right? Exactly. Watch. Okay, I'm bad at anagrams. With the tip of her boot, Phi spelled out two sentences in the dust on the floor, but she made me lick it first. Two milkmen go comedy. Okay, she just figured this out? She is very intelligent. What the hell? Or am I really dumb? I'm gonna just assume that this is actually right because I don't want to go through it even though I'm going through it I'm still doing it even though I said I wouldn't Somebody stop him. Somebody stop him. Okay Yeah, seems about right. Okay. Welcome to my kingdom. Okay 
Shoe Milkman Go Comedy, Welcome to My Kingdom. But there's also a third way to do this. Oh, okay. If you switch it around. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah, you saw it too. Yeah, I know. Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? Nah. Yeah, but... Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them true. a drink. True. True. That's true. Truing. You're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. All right, is there actually nine of us? It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and us is nine? So there are nine of us. I don't know why, it doesn't feel like there's nine of us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you still laughing at the, the telegram joke? Huh? Oh, it was you, okay. Look. Over there. Shame on you, Fido. Fido. You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it. Zero. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. Although, things are starting to get exciting. <laughs> Where are you, you little bastard? Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh! You meant you want to see the person who's controlling me? Okay, I said that there's nothing that would make me this be great vegetables, but if it turns out it actually is really a talking rabbit, I might actually just turn it off. Okay? So, you know, edge of your seat for the rest of the playthrough. Okay, now that I said that, alright, here we go. Yes, God, touch this one a little too hard. Okay, why do we keep capitalizing God? I'm a Redditor, I don't like that. What? Weren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. You sound familiar too. Wait. Then you're saying Zero is one of us. Well, yes. I guess that's one way to put it. Okay, who's talking into a walkie-talkie right now? Quick, check. Are you really sure? Oh, this guy's huge. Okay, it's Quark for sure. You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just like a, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. That's dangerously close to an actual real talking rabbit that's been uploaded into a computer chip that we implanted in a real rabbit. I would actually be okay with that. Like, I wouldn't be like, hell yeah, I'm happy, but... Like, I would accept that. Okay. I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Yeah, you're really not. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my parent. <laughs> now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. I'm a daddy. <laughs> now. With that said, I guess I should probably tell you that I'm not the one who brought you here. Okay, let's go through it. So, um, looks kind of like a magician slash inventor, so very possibly could be that. Is the Wikipedia possum, so it could be just, you know, have random facts to be able to build an AI, whatever. Is literally a robot, so obviously out, couldn't couldn't have done it. Could be Lotus again, who is somehow just a whiz with computers and shit, so could definitely be that. Um, Clover is sus as fuck and has clearly went through some shit and, and has been in the past game, so definitely definitely possible. She's super wicked smart, so it could, it could be Fi. It seems to be like a genius tech whiz inventor so in incredibly sus and this guy is obviously the the head of a robotics ai research company um 
who is colorblind. So, like, it, it must be him. You know, also could be him, sorry. And we're really sus because who the hell are we? Like, we could be anybody. Like, it could, could be us completely. So, really, I can't rule anybody out from, from inventing the quantum computer AI rabbit that's running the game and responding to everything. Okay, so here we go. I mean, obviously, I don't even have a body. I'm just the facilitator for this facility. Okay. I just do what I'm told to do. And what do you facilitate? Didn't I say? The nonary game. The game of course. <laughs> oh, the nonary game, Ambidex edition. Correct. It's my job to make sure it runs smooth. No. Okay. Why are you smiling? Oh, so sus, Clover. So what? What is? What is, what is? What is this? Why are you smiling? What? The, what the? Okay. So so smoothly that you didn't you didn't gas her appropriately that she stayed unconscious for longer. That's kind of that kind of sucks. It's supposed to be over. There she goes again. She knows something. We're not gonna ask though. What is the nonary game? Nonary refers to a base nine numeral system, but can also mean something that is in some way related to the number nine. Yeah, I knew that. I, I'm, I'm not um, just figuring that out for the first time right now. Absolutely not. It also can refer to Nona. Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Okay. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number nine in some way. Exactly. Nine is a very, very important number in this game. After all, nine is your goal. Goal? Goal. Yes, goal. You see that door in front of you? No. That's your door. If you can open the door with a nine on it, you can escape. What do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. Okay, I can't hold anymore. I gotta go pee. I'll be back in five minutes. Go brush your teeth if you need to. Enjoy the soothing sounds of whatever this music is. Oh, hi, dog. Yeah, hey. Thank you for yawning in my face and and the bunny on the screen. Be right back.
look at your left wrists. <sighs> Who could create such a fiendish depiction with of an AI? Maybe someone capable. <laughs> Amazing! I need to name him. I don't know what, what I don't know what his name is though. Oh, look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet? Of course you do. Now tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? A three. It's actually an E. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly. I'm going to call those numbers. Bracelet points. If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Only the people who can get their number to nine or more will be able to open the door with a nine on it and escape. Okay, that's different. I like that See it's different. Box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with a greater than or equal to nine BP can pull that lever and the door will open. Greater? What kind of absolute asshole is going to be like, no, I have nine, but no, I'm going to keep getting points so you guys can't. Screw this. Is it a zero sum game? That's not even close to cannot. Like, come on. It's very, she, 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 he said carrot instead of carrot. If you said carrot, then that, that's kind of close to cannot. Carrot? Come on. What? The number nine door will only stay open for nine seconds. All right. Can we all run through? When your time is up, it will close automatically. So be careful. Two. The number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you could get stuck. Okay. Close forever, so if one person opens it, no one else can go through, or it only opens once per person? Because if it can only open... Okay, all right, I guess they're going to explain it. All right, Hoppins. Three. Three. Now, maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh-ho. If my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door. What is this voice? What is Mr. T? What the hell is this? And I'll just slip through when it's open. Ah, uh, pity the fool. Well, that's not gonna lappin'. Lappin'? If you think you can be sneaky, well... <laughs> well, what? Oh, I... Oh, I really shouldn't say that yet. <laughs> All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out gets hit with a big penalty. Any bunny? What the hell does that mean? Down in front. I'll tell you later. Um. Yes? Why did you start making rabbit puns? That's what you want to know? Uh, well, um. I felt like it. I thought it might make me sound cute. Never mind that. You did this with your AI pharmaceutical company. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Battle Just pass. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. Okay, B P A B. You mean those uh elevators? Yeah, so so far the bunny has lied. So maybe Bunny more lies? Gold star. Okay. I hate this kind of character so much. So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You mean through those hatches? No. Bunny hatches? I had a hatch you might try that. Ah! Those up 
pipe while you were talking. Oh, okay. You know what? Maybe Zero's fine. The pendulum swings quickly sometimes. Nah, I really don't like this kind of character. Don't be hatching any hatch plans. You understand? Mm-hmm. I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. Getting some big, um... Oh, fuck. I can't say that's a spoiler. Oh, um... Getting some big mastermind of Danganronpa vibes. There you go. Now, if you know what it is, you know who it is. But if you don't, then you don't. Okay. How do we get in then? We tried the doors on the front. They're all locked. There's a card reader next to each one, isn't there? Yeah, dumbass. All you gotta do is slide a card through, and there you go. But where do we find those key cards? Well, we don't got them. There weren't any in the warehouse. Uh, oh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then where are they? I think you will find what you're looking for behind the chromatic doors. <sighs> Zero escape. Virtue's last reward. How long to beat? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, man. Uh, chromatic doors. Right yeah. You see the three pretty doors just to your right? Mm hmm. Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. They're not anymore. I unlocked them. Work. What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch. Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions. Just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? I do like everybody, though. I can't lie about that. Hey, what's this number? Oh, 10 seconds till you die. The two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No! What? That was a good guess. What the hell? Oh, the numbers are going down. Oh man, time's moving backwards. It's going from 10 minutes to 9. So, that would mean this must be counting down to something, right? Correct. What is this pose? This is, this is Coggers, isn't it? Isn't this just Coggers reversed? What the hell is... I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. Very impressive, Ten Mioli. Nah. All right. Let us review what we've learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open. Automatically. However, just like the number nine door, they won't stay open forever. Seasonal Cogger's version of it? Yeah, probably. And considering it's going to be long, we should probably get a goddamn bunny emote as well. You have five minutes. Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what. So I hope you've gone through by then. All right. That's just the primary door. <laughs> what? Each door in this warren has a twin. Isn't that nice? The chromatic doors aren't any different. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the secondary chromatic door on the other side is locked too. <laughs> Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? Okay, okay, what? What? This is your reaction? I don't even know what's going on. Like, what, what, what the fuck are you talking about? Of course you'll all have to split up. Yeah. Split up? So, are we have to match the colors on our watches, or... No? Maybe not? Yep. Yeah. Actually, they don't match, do they? Never mind. Cleaver, can you tell me what the three primary colors are? Yeah, they specifically did that so you wouldn't have to... You would make that connection, okay. Why are you asking me? Did he just say cleaver cleaver that's weird 
What is the smile? Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, answer my questions. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Well... Y you mean red, green, and blue? You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? So which colors would you mix to get magenta? Red and blue. How about yellow? Green and red. What if you wanted cyan? Blue and green. That's right! Now, take another look at the nice bracelets you're all wearing. Is that right? Wait, hold on. Primary colors are red, yellow, and blue, right? Yeah, isn't yellow a one? Is it? Light versus paint. Oh, okay, light versus paint, okay. Notice how they come in three vibrant colors? Yeah, yeah. We get it already. <sighs> the red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. Green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. I miss anything? Wonderful! I think you rabbit. Get it? There is one other little thing, though. You're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yep. What do you think happens? How the hell would I know? If you want to open a door, but all you've got is one color, then you can use that to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. <sighs> what are these rules? What? I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. Blue and blue can open the yellow door. Of course. And green and green can open the magenta door. Looks like your brain hasn't rotted away yet, ten me oldie. Ah, just what the hell's that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Oh well. Let's continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets. Pairs and solos. Okay, so, um... What is the difference between the primary colors? Is that the one is for someone said one is for light and one is for paint? Um, how did they know what rules the bunny was asking for? I guess it's just like they're just going along with whatever it is. Um, oh, thank you. I can't remember which one I was taught in school. Um, I seem to remember being taught with uh, um, uh, transparent glass, colored glass. But I also remember mixing paint, and no matter, you know, when you mix paint, eventually it just all turns into brown anyway, just kind of mucky. But I don't remember, I remember being taught with, um, uh, the colored glass in, like, high school at a higher level, um, and paint with a much, much lower level, and we were just never, never, uh, we never returned to that. And I was never taught, in my mind anyway, I was never taught that there's two different ways to get it and there's two different modes of that ever. It's possible I just forgot. Like, I'm pretty old. It's been a while since I was in school. Um, I'm just curious, how how did she just know what she was asking for? I guess just a writing contrivance. It doesn't really matter. I was just curious. Not criticizing. The two types of bracelets, pairs and solos. There's two types of players, too. Pairs and solos. In this game, 
The two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity. Because they have red, green, and blue. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Destiny. That would make sense. That's a good answer. Cool. Nice. Isn't that a good deal? I mean, you get two for the price of one. <laughs> oh, man. We lucked out hard being paired with the smartest person in the room. Unfortunately, that also means they care at Zuna. Aww. Aww. That's a shame. Too bad they're never going to help us do puzzles. Both members of a pair have to go through the same chromatic door. Solos don't have any restrictions like that, though. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. <laughs> but that means that they can go wherever they want. Yay! Now, let's take another look at all of your bracelets. All right, seriously, you two. What's up with you today? You're being way worse than usual. Yeah, settle down, okay? Come on. Settle down. We'll start with you, Siggy. What color is your bracelet? Siggy? Oh, we're Siggy. All right, yeah, 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 red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a pair solo? Solo. I'm a Sigma male. No, and even though I'm a pair, I'm still solo. Solo mindset. I'm a Sigma male. Like, no, no. Lone wolf. Alpha wolf. Tell us about your bracelet. It's just like Sigma's red in a pair. What about you, alas? It's red, and I'm a solo. Theo, quirk. Blue. A pair. Do we have to go through this? Yeah, mine's the same. I guess we do. Moody, Cleaver, Tendioli, all at once. I'm a blue solo. I'm a green pair. Green solo. And finally. Are we gonna get the name? Uh, who are you? What? I'm. Uh. Let's see. I suppose you can call me. K. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> hmm. Who the hell are you? <laughs> All right, K. I knew it. You were just lying about that amnesia crap. No, I just picked a letter. I'm not lying. Guess me. No. This was just a. How do I put it? A flash of insight, I suppose. The field. I saw the letter K. So, what does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. Flashback to what, him at home being on, you know, messengers online, and he's just one of those people that no matter what you say to them, they just reply with K. K, 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 K. Ah, K is important to me. I'm one of those assholes. Does it mean anything to you? Asshole. Come on now, boys. You can fight later. True. Now, uh, K... Can I call you that? No. Yes. I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. That's right. K for Clover. It says pear. K for snake. And the text mm. is green. K. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we got all that bracelet business out of the way. Now, let us return to the subject at hand. How do you open the secondary door? Why are you not telling us the name of the other person? This is very strange. Okay, Kay's pretty sus right now. So, Siggy, what would you do to get through the magenta door? Walking robot suit. There could be anyone in there with a voice synthesizer. Well, Fi and I can't split up since we're part of the same pair. If we're red, then I guess we should pair up with Luna, right? Since she's a blue solo. Or you could work with Mr. Dio and me. We're blue too. Whoops! Oh, celery sticks. I forgot to tell you. Only three people per door? You have to have exactly three people in your group to open the secondary door. Okay, so we can never group with the other pair. Z. That's interesting. So we're never gonna go through a route with um with Quirk 
and sorry quark and whatever dio and we're never gonna go with clover and k but we can go with who's who's red alice we can go with alice but it's gonna be through the scion door right scion door it seems like that's it okay that means you can't have two people or four people or well anything other than three really <laughs> Okay. Then our only choice is to pair up with Luna. And I guess I should probably tell you that the secondary door won't open until the primary door closes. It's made that way to keep out cheaters. We didn't want a fourth or fifth person just running in at the last minute like, no, wait for me! When the right people open the door, but if the primary door closes first, then that's impossible! You see, it all makes sense. It really doesn't, actually. And you might have run a hair too long in my explanation, but now I'm all done. Any questions? Yeah, why? God, I hope everyone was like, yeah, no, it makes sense. Yeah, let's, let's go. Like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, sure. Okay, we're going through the door. Okay, yeah. All right, I took a moment to go everything we learned so far. What do I have to do to escape? Open the number nine door. How do I open the number nine door? I have to get nine or more bracelet point bracelet points, also known as BP. How do I get more BP? I don't have the whole answer to that one, but it looks like I have to head into the ambidex room to get it. How do I get into the ambidex room? I'll need a key card for that. Did, isn't that where we came from, or is there like another way to go down there? Is it like I, I'm kind of I'm a little lost, but let's just keep going. I Maybe mean, I'm supposed to be. Where is the key card? Zero said it's on the other side of the chromatic door. What do I do to open the primary CD? What? Nothing, actually. Apparently it just opens on its own after a certain amount of time. Okay, pressing the buttons on. Okay, so the primary color is there to tell you what's gonna be on the other side so you can plan accordingly, but it, it doesn't really matter. There's no rules for getting through it. It's just everyone lines up before it. Okay, I think I'm getting that part a little bit, but it was a little confusing without a proper visual. I think they could have done that better. Um, pressing buttons on the both sides of the bracelet, someone shows how much time is remaining, okay. How do I get through the secondary door? For starters, there's a limit to how many people can go in. Specifically, three people. If combining the colors on the bracelets of those three people gives you the same color as the door, then the door will open. If everyone has the same color, then you can open doors open doors to that color's complementary color. Matching, red plus blue equals magenta, green plus red um, equals yellow, and blue plus green equals cyan. Complementary. <clears throat> Excuse me. Red plus red equals cyan. Blue plus blue equals yellow. Green plus green equals magenta. Um, what about green plus green plus green? Are these the colors on here? Interesting. All right. Good. Excellent. It looks like none of you have any questions. Yay. Um. Yeah, we do. Huh? No. Wait. We have questions. Of course, we have questions. What's the point of this game? Why did you take us? Alright, I don't even know if we're talking, to be honest. Where are we? And and who the hell is the real Zero? Oh, no questions. Alright, bye. Chromatic doors have opened. Alright, it's still the bunny, isn't it? Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Alright. Oh, so sorry guys. But it looks like your time's up. You better hop to it and get those secondary doors open. Fuck that. I agree with Dio. You can open shit. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. Oh, Lemayo got him. If you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you've got another thing coming, you smart-ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up. Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. All right, so I'm gonna die now. No one can die, right? Because unless there's like a replacement, when they <laughs> just kill someone, hatch opens, new contestant just drops from the ceiling. Do you understand the rule? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Like, like there has to be like three sets of three, right? Like. <laughs> okay. Why is that? And whoever's in here gets bathed in acid. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... 
They'll what? They'll be penalized. Okay, what does that mean? You keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Fewer cookies at the end. Well... <sighs> also smiling. Death! Okay. Like, conceptually? <gasps> Same expression. Two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Soparil Beta. The other <laughs> is a muscle relaxant called Tubocurarine. <laughs> All right. Okay. The bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. Hot. If you break the rules, those needles hop out and inject you. First is the silver rail, which puts you to sleep. This gets nine minutes later, the tubo is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. Nine minutes. Uh, this gets this elaborate visual, but the doors didn't get that good of a time. Eh, whatever. Maybe they thought that made sense. It this kind of makes sense once you see it, though. Um, yeah, I don't believe you. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. All right. You should know. That the soporil is only there out of the kindness of Zero's heart. Okay. Oh, and, and I mean the real Zero. <laughs> Not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Real Zero? Isn't that just so compassionate? <laughs> if I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Anyway, all it means is that you'll die pretty famously, so hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. Oh, man. Okay, heart not made of Ice Nine confirmed. Of course. None of that will happen. Four minutes left. Oh, three minutes. Okay, we need to make a decision. Well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys. See you all later. Have a nice trap. Please draw my monocoids. I don't even know what you guys are, are betting. I didn't even see the bet. I have no idea. What is it? Is it just a, an old classic? Like how many times I'm going to say weeb in the next... Okay, there. Did I say it? Is that good? Do I have to say it three times? Weeb, 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 weeb. Okay, is that it? Was that actually it? I have no idea what it was. So there was poison in the bracelet. The bracelet poison, the poison for Sigma, Sigma's poison. That poison, it seemed a little hard to believe, but it wasn't like I had anything other than a computer generated rabbit say either way. I'm not seeing the bet resolve, so I guess it wasn't that. What are we what are we gonna do? There was a lot to think about, but we didn't have very much time. What are we waiting for? We need to go. We need to get through these other doors. But how do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? <sighs> Fine. Just pay attention. We don't have much time. Okay, I really don't like girl Nagito. Zero's explanation was pretty confusing. So let me put it in small words for you. There are only three possible options. Option A. What, what what's this that you made? This is what I made. What what the, what is this? Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can open the magenta door. Okay. Wait, I'm confused. Can't all the red go together into into the scion then? Couldn't we all group up and go here? Because if we can't why w was there even the stipulation of, oh, we can go into, both of us can go into the magenta when you can only have fucking th three people? Like, it's it's gotta be, right? Maybe it's just not on there yet. That would mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. Their green goes with her red to make yellow. Okay. That just leaves Dio and Quark as the blue pair, and Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door they can open is the cyan one. The blue pair goes in the square hole. All right, and we're going to be the one to decide? How are we going to be the one to decide? Are we going to trick them to go over to the door? Got it. Imagine being patient. I am very impatient. Yeah, sorry. First time? First time? Option B. 
option. Sigma and I go with Ten Miyoji, so we can use red and green to make yellow for that door. That means Clover and Kay pair up with Luna to open the Cyan door. This leaves Dio and Pork with Alice, and together they can open up the Magenta door. Together. And finally. Oh yeah, thank you. Like, where was this fight? Come on, get with the program. Come on, man. This game's so slow and shit. Option C would be where we pair up with light colors to open complementary colored doors. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the cyan door. Okay, so it's it's a choice of of um of two two waifus. Do we want to go with weird toilet seat wearing, possibly Lotus, possibly Mummy? Or do we want to go with Rise? Why am I even asking? Clover K and Ten Miyoji go through the magenta door, and Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the yellow door. Problem is, which do we choose? Da -da 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 -da. Please, Sigma, choose something. What? Why me? What? Cause you're the Sigma male. Wait, what? Why me? If you don't want to, then maybe Alice or Clover can choose. Or Tenmyoji, or Dio, or anyone. Once one person chooses, everyone else's decisions will be made for them. But please, you have to hurry. I need your credit card number, the three digits on the back, and the expiration date. We're almost out of time. Yeah. Quick. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. <laughs> Alright, alright. I'll pick. Nobody seemed upset, but they probably knew as well as I did that we don't have time for bickering. I took a deep breath and spoke. I don't care who I go with. I'm a Sigma male. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna go stand in the store. Whoever wants to come with me, they can come over. Okay. Fi and I will go through the magenta door with Luna. Go through the yellow door with Temmyoji. Go through the Scion door with Alice. I think we'll pair up with Luna and head through the magenta door. Are you guys good with that? Sure. Yeah, whatever. All right. Then Clover and I will go with Alice. As long as I get to go with Alice, I'm fine. Oh, that's what the bet was. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes who? What? Okay, that had to be the highest one, right? What? You guys thought I was gonna go cyan? Really? R you thought I was gonna choose this trash fire over? Fucking Risei Kujikawa? Was that actually her last name? Oh my god, was it? Did I remember? Risei Kuj... Oh my god! What have you people done to me? Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh no! As long as it gets going, that's a, okay. I don't have any objections. Uh, Alright. <laughs> we'll be going through the yellow door, right? <laughs> that means Dio, Quark, and I are doing the same uh, door. Uh, stuck with a kid and some old fart. Whoa, you're a dick, man. I can't see how this could possibly go badly. Okay. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and you'll pull your head out of your ass. Yeah, alright. What did you just say? You heard him. Ten seconds remain. Oh shit! Chromatic doors close. B better be, better hurry. Nine, eight, seven. We need to hurry. Okay, what if we all went through the wrong doors, and then we're just stuck on the other side? Is do we die there? Is that a penalty? Like, it was specifically, what if we stay out here? What if we just all went in wrong doors? Three. Two, one, zero. 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 Chromatic doors closing. Okay. Oh, God. What? Oh, this is cool. Lounge. Lounge? Okay, getting some like 
we're underwater vibes right now. Oh, it's the RLRL thing again. Okay, what? what is this place? I don't, there's like at least one person who's mad in chat right now. We spent the whole final stream of, 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 of 999 going, what about the mummy? What about the mummy? And then he gets, he finally gets a chance to go hang out with the money. He's like, nah, I'm going to go with Rise. He's like, it's fucking bullshit. That was a surefire bet. It's, he must have seen, he must have seen the vote. And he just was like, fuck it. I'm going to go somewhere else. Like, why, why was he just going, what about the mummy? Like, <laughs> this Didn't like... you see the door? <laughs> it said this is the lounge. <laughs> Lounge. This is like, like, grumpy girl Nagito, I swear. Does that mean there's somebody living here? Well, there doesn't seem to be much dust. Maybe there is. Hmm. So we've got a well-used lounge right next to a big empty warehouse. Can you call me Senpai? What is this building for? Beats me. It looks like there are four doors in here. Yeah. The one we came in, the one opposite it, and two more on the left and right. The two on the sides are covered with metal plates, though. Don't think we'll be opening them anytime soon. Nagito is less grumpy. I'm sorry, did I say less grumpy girl Nagito? I meant more grumpy. Like, like th this this character is, has a lot more of an edge to her than Nagito does. Like, she's permanently pissed off. Whereas Nagito is like, well, this is fucking awesome, Hajime. Let's go solve the murder, you know? Whereas she's like, I just want to get through this and go home and see my cat and drink some coffee or something, you know? Like, I guess that just leaves us with one option. I guess it just leaves us one option. No good. This one's locked too. I didn't see any other doors in the hallway we came through. Maybe we can find one of the keys to the AB room in here somewhere. Well, it's not gonna find itself. Let's go. It's true. It's true. Pretty true. Okay. True. Is it escape room time? Seek a way out. Okay. I'm getting increasingly like annoyed and curious why we don't know what we look like yet. That that has to be intentional. Are we a character from the last game? It's got to be that, right? Oh, another one of these. This safe is the one we saw in the AB room. Yeah, same one I saw. We just don't like it. Do you think it opens the same way? Try it and find out. All right, this time it's going to be this one. And this one. And this one. No. No good. I can't do it. Yeah, I can smell it. Don't do that. Oh, God damn it. I don't even want to tell chat what you guys are doing. Oh man, don't do that. Just the whole room just reeks. Oh. Oh man. For I wish it was farts. This thing looks weird. Is it supposed to be the sun or something? There are 12 words on it. They're arranged kind of like the spokes on a wheel. Red, white, blue, island, green, moon, black, ocean, yellow, earth, sun, planet. Why do they change direction like that? Make it easier to read, maybe? Okay. It's odd that they're not evenly split. Okay. Red, white, blue, island, green. Moon, black, ocean, yellow, earth, sun, planet. Okay. Okay. Ocean and island seem to be the odd one, that odd ones out here, but not completely. Um, is it first letters or something? Huh. Okay. Mm, probably not. I'm guessing it's going to be we're going to find out a code and we have to do something with it. Huh? There's something behind this cushion. Astronomy today! Total lunar eclipse. December 31st, 2028. 1650 UTC? Is this a magazine? What is it about? Looks like astronomy. Oh man, some reading material while we wait. Northern Hemisphere. Hemi- Northern Hemi Hemisphere. Okay. Oh, the Earth's hollow! Is this a model of the Earth? This looks like North America. 
Looks like someone took the Northern Hemisphere and chopped it in half. Why don't we just call it the Northern Hemi Hemisphere? Okay, how about we don't, like a normal person? A red leather cushion. Ah, 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 achoo. Okay, are you allergic to the color red? Because that doesn't bode well for, you know, living. Hey, come on, that was a real sneeze. It was dusty. Okay. Hate anime? A lighting fixture with a cover on it. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about it. A metal sheet that looks kind of like a door. It's been bolted to the wall. Okay, I will say this. I prefer looking around the room in this version than in the last one. Even the last one looked, looked better. Um, this is more natural about looking around. So that's one of the advantages of the change in style and presentation that they made, I think. All right, let's get a martini. A button. Nothing happens when I push it. All right, let's get a glass. I've never had a martini. Okay. Where's Alice? They're long, thin, pointy pieces of metal. Are they needles of some kind? Why are there two of them? All right, let's take them. Oh, those go on the um, the clock. Okay, empty glass. I was gonna say it's not empty, there's something here, okay. A glass, do you think it could be a cocktail glass? There's nothing in it. Okay, can we take another glass? Oh, we have so many glasses. Oh no, okay, do we have to like put certain levels of liquid in them and put them back? I wonder what the screen is for. It doesn't look like it's turned on. Can you see a switch? No, nothing. Okay, will it do it automatically? Nothing happens when I push this button. I wonder what this Y means. Nothing happens when I push this button. I wonder what this Y means. Okay, really? Wait, what's down there? I want to look in the garbage. What's this thing? Some kind of sink? Ah, clever. Alright, so this is the garbage. So this is where most people in chat would put Hatsune Miku. Interesting. Okay. If you get wasted, you can just puke into here. That's not what this is for. No, it's for Katsuni Miku. Yeah, there's an icon on the counter above it. Huh, I guess it's a drain. You pour leftover drinks down it. Can I take this away? Cocktail glass, I just sit down, it's empty. All right, I can't. So I have to fill it with, oh no. Okay, let go over here and do it. Oh shit. Okay, well, oh, the sun, moon, island, ocean, planet, red, yellow, white, green, blue. Okay, so I have to, put the time into the thing right and then that'll tell me what drinks to use but i don't know what order to put them in maybe it's the order of the magazine a metal sheet looks kind of like a door has been bolted to the wall all right let's go look at the um astronomy today magazine about of all things astronomy this issue appears to be about lunar eclipses this article says a lengthy lunar eclipse will occur at 4 50 p.m uh, UT on 1231 2028. In other words, at 4:50 p.m. you can see a total lunar eclipse. Wait a minute. 4:50 p.m. 4:50 p.m. Wait, what? Okay, so I can put these on here. Does the clock have any hands? Do you think the needles found might go in here? Let's see. Okay. All right. So now I want to put. Put the hands on the clock, nothing's happening. What if you move them? Move them where? I don't know, experiment. All right, let's give it a try then. Move the hand on a specific, specific time, then press the check button. Okay, so. Wait, what? I wanna move, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, four o'clock, and then 50, right? So it's green sun, is that right? Okay, complete. Green sun. Or sun green. How about 450? That puts the short hand at green and the long hand at sun. A green sun. What? Oh my god, I thought we were going to have a flashback and the sun was going to be green. That's that's where I am right now. Oh my god, yeah, remember when the sun turned green? Oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, the world outside is dealing with the green sun. Why are we in here then? I don't know, someone must have kidnapped us to play a game while the sun turns color. Okay, whoa. There's a beam of light coming out of the center of the clock. That's pretty impressive. Okay, I want to... Okay. Oh no. Okay. Okay, combine with, yeah, with the glass. All right. Okay. So you, you made this Northern hemisphere by putting together the two, hem, two hemi hemispheres. Actually, it's missing some land here around the equator. I guess it's not really a complete hemisphere. Okay. And now we're going to put it on here. 
curved piece of metal shaped like a like a bow. The beam of light would be perpendicular to the string if the bow was strung. Okay. What's this thing? Some kind of top? It's got these cones on the center. Yes, but look at the edges. Looks like part of the map. So this could be part of the earth. All right, where are the other two pieces? Maybe there are no other pieces. Maybe it's just the top. Interesting. You've attached the disc to the northern hemisphere. Did you know that globes weren't invented until we found out that the world? No, that actually makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, until we found out the world wasn't flat. So yeah, of course it wouldn't be. That's not, that's that's not dumb trivia. A curvy smell shaped like a bow. The beam of it light would be perpendicular to the string if the bow was strong. All right, I can't put this on. All right, I have to find the rest of the pieces then. Where are they? Lock. I need to find a key. What's in here? What's this? A note? It looks like a page from a journal. You have found a fragment of a bartender's diary. You can review it in the archive. Aha! Okay. I have to find the other piece then. Part of model of the Earth. It's got the southern end of Africa and all of Australia. Half of the southern hemisphere. I guess it would make this the southern hemi hemisphere. Okay, so do I have to solve the cocktail puzzle in order to get the last piece or oh it's right up here it's hiding okay good work you've made it a globe and if you look closely at it i think it's actually transparent no okay Table, kind of rusty, I guess. Yeah, seems like a perfectly normal table. Ah, what's wrong? I thought I saw a face in the stains and I got scared. Oh, I get it. The completed globe goes here. Yeah, just like this. Blue planet. Perfect. It's a globe. Look, some letters appeared on it. They say blue planet. Beam of light appears to cause the words blue planet to appear across the surface of the globe. R red moon? I see red and moon, but I also see the L lit up here too, and this I. What does that mean? And this over here as well. Red moon. L Lion! Okay, what is all the red? The red does Leon. Is this red? Does this count as red? Redoon. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so green sun, blue planet, and red moon, I'm guessing. All right, so are these all here? Is there a red and a moon? So red moon, green sun, blue planet. Oh, let's make some Jack Daniels. That's what I like to drink. There's a lot of bottles here. How'd you like to have a drink with me, huh? Oh, um, you really think this is a good time you making a pass to someone? Yes. She's getting all nervous now. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yes. Green. Uh, sun. Can I take all of them? Oh, God. Alcohol of the moon. It makes me think of Japanese uh, sake for some reason. Drool. It also makes me want to drink it. Don't drink it. Do they all have unique ones? Sun alcohol, huh? Maybe that means the alcohol content is so high it'll burst into flame and sunlight. Drool, it looks good. Oh, you like to drink. Don't don't drink it. A green one. You know, my favorite color is green. Just looking at it makes me feel happy and calm. My favorite color is green, too. Island alcohol. I wonder if it comes from an island. Drool, how interesting. Don't drink it. I wonder what ocean alcohol would taste like. I hope it's not salty. Drool, now I want to try it. Don't drink it. Planet alcohol, that's a pretty weird name. Drool, but with our powers combined, I am Captain Planet, don't drink it. 
What a powerful shade of red. I feel so passionate. Maybe this would be good for trying to woo a girl. Want to try some, Luna? I see what you're trying to do. That's a really bright yellow. Some animals use yellow as a warning to predators, so maybe this is a warning for, for, to us to stay alert. Okay, this is excessive as hell. This one is white. White always makes me think of wedding dresses. I'd like to wear one someday. That means you're single, right? Your face is scaring me. I love anime. This liqueur is blue. I think it matches you, Sigma. Why is that? Well, you're wearing blue. Am I? Oh, thank you for information. Finally, I'm wearing blue. That's pretty straightforward. Cool, I'm wearing blue. Nice. All right, so green sun. Uh, green sun. Oh, shit. How am I supposed to know? Is that the green? That's green, right? Is it the green sun, though? Sorry, is it the actual... Is it one of them... The sun one. Is all, They're all purple. Okay, so the color of the bottle... And all the purple ones are the, are the bodies, and the green of the, the other ones are actually the colors. Okay, so that that's, that's, makes it easier. Alright, so green. No. Okay. I am having trouble. Green sun. Alright, here we go. The glass is full of liquid now. Looks like we made a cocktail. All right, now I'm going to drink it. Why do I keep doing it? All right, so I want um, blue planet. Okay, that's the planet, and now we want blue. Okay, and I'm gonna guess it's red moon, but I'm not sure. Okay, and we do them in the order that we found them, maybe? So, uh, green first? Huh? Hey, this thing lit up. It looks like it's made to light up when you put the cocktail on it. Let's try putting some other on the other coasters. And then blue. And then red moon. Nice, okay. Hey, good job. All the coasters are green. Green means I got it right, right? I think so. Look, something happened on the screen. Okay, so star, sun, sun. Oh, I saw some of this before. You too? Yes. There was one in your AB room? Yeah, I think so. It opened the Safe back then. We should write this down somewhere. No, it's cool. I can remember it. You're going to memorize it? Sure, no sweat. I've got a pretty good memory. That's kind of weird. Okay. Awesome, it opens. Good job, Sigma. Mm, well done. Bunch of stuff in here. Let's see. Getting some big crystal maze vibes from this. First, we got a map. It says floor A in the corner. Yeah. We can take a close look at it later. There's still more stuff in there. Why don't you get the rest of it first? Right. Next, we got a card. Two cards, actually. Oh, man. We only get two points. Do you think these could be the key cards for the AB rooms? See, it says ambidextrum right on them. Yeah, you're probably right. This is a weird name. Hmm, okay. And that means we can start getting more bracelet points. Once we got nine, we can then we can open the number nine door and get out of here. At least that's what the rabbit said. Yeah. But how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the AB rooms are. 
We can get, go back the way we came, but that door is locked. I think the answer is in the safe. See, read this note. Here are a few more rules for you. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's gonna, yeah, down here. I was reading up here. Okay, it's gonna read the whole thing. Once you've opened the door, you can hop through it as much as you like. The chromatic doors are like that too. Once you open them, even I cannot keep you from going in and out of them. Any color basically can go through them and as many people as you like. But, 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 if you, you have to escape before you can take advantage of this free reign rule. Once you've activated a chromatic door and gone through it to the puzzle beyond, it warrants let you go back until you've solved the puzzle. I see. So in other words, once we get out of here, we can get back to the warehouse, right? Yeah, seems like it. So that means this key here is the last piece of the puzzle. You did it. That key is just what we need. Now we can get out. Okay, so is the screen going to have another password to get another one of those golden, golden files that I'm not allowed to read? No. What? Huh. That's weird. Is there something optional in here? Oh, I see more glasses. A glass rack. There's several cocktail glasses suspended from it. So what's something to do with this? Okay, I'm guessing this is gonna take me out. Is it is there gonna be a are you all done before you go? Uh we haven't saved it in a while. Oh god, we hadn't saved it in a long time. Good thing that we, good thing that we saved it. Okay, let's look at our items. We still have all the items. It didn't take them away. Three customers. Oh, we didn't even read this. Oh, shit. Three customers came in today, a couple in the sun. The father sat in the center with the mother on the left and the son on the right. When I came when I came to take their order, they said the following. Father, my wife, my wife likes the color red and I like white. My son has always liked ocean. My s mother, my son has loved the color blue ever since he was a child. My husband likes island and I like planet. Son, my mother and I like moon. My father likes anything green. One of them was was a liar, but I swiftly made their drinks and handed them over. Oh, no. Okay, I like puzzles like this, but I don't want to do this on stream. We're going to be sitting here while I do it in the most convoluted way possible. Still having a good time, but everyone's going to be like, what the hell is wrong with you? Oh, shit. Do 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 So the son says my father likes anything green and the father says I like white, right? And the father also says that my son has always liked ocean, whereas the son says mother and I like the moon. Okay, so either the son or the father is lying, it looks like. The father says my life my wife likes the color red. And the mother says, I like planet. My, lo my son ha loves the color blue ever since he was a child. Um, my husband likes island and I like planet. Where's the double up? Where's someone giving the same information? Maybe I need to get pen and paper and write it down to make a list. I don't have any pen and paper. Oh, that's that sucks. Oh well. Okay, let's go through it again. My wife likes the color red. Does and so the the father is claiming that the wife likes red, and the son is claiming that um, nothing about the color for the mother actually. The mother is claiming. My son has loved the color blue ever since he was a child. How old is the son? 
I was picturing a child, like an actual child, okay. If the mother's telling the truth, then that means the husband wants island with green or white. So white or green island. And the mother wants planet with no color at all. So I'm guessing that the father, because the, that's the only way that you get the color, right? So that means that the father has to be telling the truth because that's the only way you can get a color for the mother. So the son is lying. Or is the or is the the mother lying? The father is the only one that supplies color information for the wife. My wife likes the color red, right? Yeah. So the father has to be telling the truth. Okay. So the father is eliminated. All right, as, as being the liar. So is, can the son, is any is there, is there any other exclusive information from either of these two that has to eliminate the other one? My son has always loved the color blue ever since he was a child. Um, no one else supplies the color for the sun either, right? My son has always liked, liked ocean, like moon. Okay, so I think it's the father and the mother and the son is lying. I think that's my conclusion. So it's going to be father is um uh white islands the mother is red planet and the sun is blue ocean so red planet. okay i need to write it down what it is or i can go here maybe <laughs> All right, can I make a new? I can't make another one. God damn it! All right, so uh, father, is, mother is red planet, red planet. The father is white. Islands is lands and the sun is a uh, blue ocean, right? Blue ocean. All right, that's what I think it is. If I'm wrong, then we're gonna find out. This is gonna be kind of awkward to put together though. If I'm wrong, it's gonna be a waste of time. Okay, let's just make sure that I'm right here. So my husband likes islands and likes white so these are the same so it's white island white island um mother is i like planet and also the color red so it should be red planet yep yeah. and it's blue ocean so blue ocean is uh, my son has always liked ocean and my son likes the color blue so blue ocean okay so that's what i have to make all right so let's go over and get it No, I want to move the fucking screen. Thank you. God damn it. That's awkward. Why are people spamming island in, in chat? Did I make a mistake? Sorry if I, make a, if I made a mistake. That's my conclusion. Toss the cocktail. No, why waste it? Drink the thing. I'd like to, but what if it's poisoned? See, I think it's better if I just pitch it. There it goes. Well, I have to empty glass again. Well, I'm having fun. Well, I have empty glass again. All right, okay, so back up, go over here. So, White Island. Oh, we had an island, nice. 
And now we want white. Okay, now we want a uh, red, red planet, red planet. Red planet, okay. And then, just to make sure, blue ocean. All right. What else would it be? Oh, it's like a nose. All right, let's go. Coasters are red. It doesn't seem like anything's happening. Red isn't usually good, is it? Do you think we did something wrong? This small. Oh, is it wrong? Okay. Does it have to be in a certain order? Does it have to go father, mother, son? Oh, that is father, mother, son. Does that go the other way? Oh, I didn't need to take that one out, did I? Do, 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 do. That one goes here, because it's the other order. And now red. Didn't have to take the middle one out. No! All the coasters are out. I don't like that. Hmm. Alright. So, did I make a mistake? Three customers came in today. A couple and their son. The father sat in the center with the mother on the left and the son on the right. Oh! Okay. Mother on the left and the son on the right. Okay. So that's the fathers in the center, mother on the left. Which left? I got there, chat. Chill. 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 Don't like that. So it's from the bartender's perspective? Chat, I literally just made the joke as I was putting them down. Which which left? Chill. There we go. Huh? Huh, it's blue this time. Yeah, they're all blue. There's something happening on the screen. Okay. Three again. So sun star star. Okay, sun star star. Hmm. Is that the inverted opposite symbols again okay i think maybe so sun star star now different shapes different places probably the safe somehow can't remember the sigma leave it to me sun star star we're also a robot and no one just wanted to say anything because of k okay completed Huh? I guess there's another password I can open it too. So it would seem. All right, time to read them. Oh, there's a lot of these. Oh no, are there really 16 escape rooms? Actually, that doesn't seem too bad. 
What is the Nonary Game? It's a deadly game that nine people have been forced to play. The official name is Nonary Game, Ambidex Edition. It's as part of the Nonary Game, the participants must also play the Ambidex Game, the AB Game. Coming. Yeah, it keeps the door locked. It says lock. You have the key we found in the safe, right? Yeah, I think so. I'm assuming you know how to unlock a lock. Anyway, there's something I want to talk to you about before we open that door. Well, what is it? Don't keep us in suspense. Have you ever heard of Ice Nine? You should probably hear this too, Luna. I want to tell you about the to about total lunar eclipses. Of course you do. All right, here we go. It's starting. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is entirely covered by the Earth's shadow. That doesn't mean the moon just disappears or turns black, though. It actually reflects light that's passed through the Earth's atmosphere. But this makes it appear to be red. Essentially, what's happening is that the moon is reflecting the sunset. So the moon looks red during a lunar eclipse? Yeah, I think so. So, uh, why are you telling us this? Just wanted to. I just thought I should. Yeah, what kind of an answer is that? Anyway, that's it. I'm done. Hurry up and open the door. Are you making fun of the first game, or...? Come on, what are you waiting for? Get on with it. Okay, do you have any information about um, lunar eclipses? Solar eclipses, maybe? Earth eclipses? All right, fine, time to get on with it then. Yeah, we did it. Yay. Um, that was enjoyable, but a bit clunky with all the bottles. I think they could have done that better, but yeah, whatever. Another elevator, huh? Do you think it works? No. Dunno. Only one way to find out, though. Hey. Someone's coming. Santa Claus? Looks like Alice Clover K. And Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji. What is keeping these smushed together? Boobs don't work this way. What what is what is this? Is this like magnetic clips on here or something? Like what what what? How heavy is this thing? Like what? How do you know I'm not a weeb? What's going on here? We ran into them a little bit ago. Well, not literally, of course. I don't know. With a prowl like that, I imagine you run into a lot of things. Let me see the map. Oh, sure. Can I see the map? I'd like to look at the map on my own. Okay, so we started here. Okay, and so we've... What's all these other rooms over here? No? Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, I get it. All three routes end up here. It's the same as the map we found in the infirmary. Infirmary? Oh, we found a map like that too. Under the table? Ours was in the crew quarters. <laughs> okay, so... There's 16 golden files to find. You always find one out right at the beginning. Three different routes. So five escape rooms on each route. Or at least five escape rooms with golden files in them. Maybe there's some smaller ones that don't have a golden file in them. Okay. That's not too bad. Hmm. Maybe the story sections are super fucking long. We found ours in the lounge. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No, I'm good. No. I agree with Nagito. There's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. Figito. My 
my god, we're on Mars. What the? Oh, this is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Look, there's a box here. Okay, I was it expecting like the ones we saw earlier. I was expecting to go to a to a large open area, not more doors, okay? Lock, huh? Yeah, it won't budge. Just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. How come no one's asking why you two know each other? No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Okay, I want to say that streams are different in for, for me to experience the game. If I was playing by myself, I would have looked it up to see if it was the same voice actor for, for this than, than Lotus. Because I'm hearing kind of Lotus's voice when I hear her talk. But in the interest of whatever, I'm not going to do it for the stream. But I, I, like, I, I hear Lotus when she talks. And I just don't know if they're similar or not. Or the exact same. Yeah, the time left. Two, uh, two hours in this room? Oh, man. Two hours and six minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. What was this pose? You're telling me we're going to have to just sit around here for another two hours? Hmm. Looks like we don't have a choice then. He looks familiar to me too from another game. We gotta head back. Quark, why don't you show them that note we found? Sure. Oh? Oh? Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the infirmary. Yeah, we found one too. It was in a safe in the lounge. Here, a few more rules for you. Once you've opened the door, you can opt to this one. Jelly before that door is like that too. Okay, do we have to? Yeah. Okay. Why are we just repeating it? My God, they found the technology. Novel mode. It's no longer optional. That's true. Then we can all go back the way we came into the warehouse. I don't think saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key. We found some too. That makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Ah, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? Hmm. If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. Whoa, hey. <sighs> Asshole. I agree. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? Ah, uh, she sounds a little different now. Okay. All right, fine. I'm going. Okay, do we need to see all this? Really? Lounge. Wait, can I uh, didn't it say anyone could go through any any route? So. Okay, yeah, this there we go. Is the lounge. Yeah, you heard so much about it. Finally got here, huh? What the fuck happened to you? You look like you're you're cosplaying as pebbles from the Flintstones. What the fuck is this shit? It would seem Zero's notes were telling the truth. Getting back here was easy enough. That means we could all go visit the infirmary too. Okay. Or the crew quarters. Hey, Grandpa, check this out. It's some of your favorite scotch. Oh. -ho. Meanwhile, we still have all ten bottles. <laughs> uh, tempting. I don't really think now's the time. Wait, how do you know that? Whoa, hold on, Grandpa. 
Since when were they buddies? He, he's his little old grandpa. Or they always been that close? In other words, they know each other before the nonary game, and if Quark was calling Temoji grandpa, maybe they're even related. Alice and Clover seem to be close too, and even though I'm thinking this, I'm not going to ask any questions. Just how many of these people know each other already? Let's go, buddy. As soon as we get out of here, I can drink all the scotch I want. You can drink all the root beer floats you can stomach. I've never had a root beer float, but it looks kind of gross. I don't really like root beer in general, actually. Root beer's kind of gross. What? What? You're gonna get me a root beer float? Whoa. What? Are, are you sure? No. Do you have enough money? Whoa, hey, what? Oh, ye of little faith. I found an old factory full of rare earth metals the other day. Okay, it's anime. He might not be kidding. He wasn't. Okay, cool. All right. T -t Root beer floats are actually pretty bad. I try one for sure. I never had one before. I try it. Ungodly terrible take. Root beer is the best soda. No, that goes to glass bottle Coca Cola. Not even close. Oh, you're finally done. You were taking so long. I hopped off for a little nap. Ah, for yawning? Really? You're just a computer program. You don't get tired. Hey, B.O. Body odor? My temper's got a hair trigger, and you're awfully close to so I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Otherwise... Well, you really need me to spell it out. Uh, forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty! Let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? <laughs> two hours is a long time. What are we going to do for two hours? We go into the AB rooms, right? Look. Look! We've got some keys for them right here. K and Quark have two each, so we've got six all together. But who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Anybody can go into any room. Why? But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Oh, okay. So everyone is going to get a point. That's surprising. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. Ooh. Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game. Wait, what's ambidex supposed to mean anyway? I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Uh huh. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands instead of favoring the left or right. I don't but have it a dominant also be hand. Taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two faced. No, I d I'm, I'm a sigma male. <laughs> it's a game of betrayal then. Well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. So, the. The three solos are gonna go in and play themselves. And what's the nonary game? Oh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The nonary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Make sense? Like hell. This shit is confusing. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think, Theo? Uh, you arrogant little bastard. <laughs> well, that's just how I am. So you better get used to it. Uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? I hate this character so much. I mean, I also find it confusing, but I don't want to get made fun of by the bunny, so I'm just going to pretend that I understand what's going on. I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. Yeah, big, big Dangerampa mastermind vibes for sure. Yep. I think it'll probably be easier to understand that way. 
K, Quark, and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Ten, ten Emoji. Then we headed to the a into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion of who would go into which door, and Phi and I found ourselves heading into the leftmost room. Okay, this is where the Clover and K came out of, right? Looks like every. Am I getting confused? Isn't this where they came out of, or is there a different set of doors and rooms? Like, isn't this just going to open the? Did they change it while we were gone? Like, looks like everyone else is getting ready. Uh, I think Why are you into. asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, again, I just find it so weird that we don't talk. Like, I, I, I'm still unclear if it's stylistic or what. Like, it's it's so um, disarming. Like, I'm like, what? I keep expecting it. Okay, okay. An ambidex gate has been opened. Oh, okay. It sounds like someone from a game. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Polling? What? This game's got a time limit too. Oh, do we have to decide who dies? Oh, do, does like we all enter but only but only um five come out? Oh, that would be interesting. This game's got a time limit too. Who who the fuck are you? What? I agree. What? 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 What the hell? Who is this? Fuck if I know. Yeah, I agree. What? Look, it doesn't matter who she is. Just get everybody over here. What? There's someone else in their rooms too. Yeah, right. Hey, guys, guys, get over here. We found someone. There's a lady over here. She's unconscious. There's a lady in our room too. Yeah. I didn't wait for a response. Just turned around and followed Fi into the room. We knelt down next to the woman and turned her over as gently as we managed. And then the door is closed. <laughs> All agree to this was. Oh man, she had a really bad nosebleed. Is this the same music from the last game? What the fuck is that? Blood. She's covered in blood. I leaned down to listen at her mouth. Nothing, no breath. With shaking hands, I felt against her neck for a pulse. No movement, just cold skin. What the hell were you yelling at? My god, you killed her. What's going on here? Is she? Quark, don't look. Somebody get Quark out of here. Someone think of Quark. Uh, okay. C come on, Quark. Then she's... Wait, wasn't this the room that they were in? Kay. Kay, did you kill someone? Kay, this kills people. Aw, oh, darn. I didn't know. Th th this... <sighs> okay. Yeah, she's not breathing, and I can't find a pulse. Her body's already cold, so I'm guessing she was- I'm guessing she was murdered a while ago. Murdered? Murdered? Does this look like an accident or a suicide to you? Hmm. hmm. I mean, I guess if they were trying to hide it, they would have tried to get that room, right? So, hmm. Maybe he forgot afterwards. Looks like she was stabbed. Don't see a weapon around here, though. That means either the killer took it with them. Or it was made of it ice. Part of them. Uh, go on. Part of them? What's the smile? What the hell? Well, if someone was strong enough and they had metal hands, then they might be able to stab someone in the heart. Oh man, we're addressing it right away. Cool. All right, I like this. What are you suggesting? This was your room, Kay. It's just a joke. It wasn't though. Don't take it so seriously. Okay, you're you just gained so many points and lost them so quickly. Okay, whatever. 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 Yeah. If we examine the wound, we'll probably get a better idea of what the weapon was. Oh no! Don't do that. Let's get her to the infirmary. We have an infirmary. She might be old, but she's still a woman. Wh what? If we're going to do an autopsy, she should have some privacy. Uh, men don't need privacy? Okay. Come on, boys, let's go. What about... What about, What this is the smile? What about the game? We have to play a game. D.O.K. and I gingerly lifted the woman up and carried her to the infirmary. Perhaps he just didn't consider himself one of the boys. Or maybe it was something else. 
But whatever the reason, Tem Miyoji only stared. Oh man. That's my wife, but I'm not going to say anything. His whole body was rigid, like a rope pulled almost to its breaking point, but it was his eyes that caught my attention. He wasn't staring at us, not quite. It was more like he was staring toward us. A smoldering spark of something burning slightly, silently behind his gaze. It wasn't until we were almost to the infirmary that I realized Hemiyoji hadn't spoken a single word since the moment we'd found the body. I turned to look back at him. He was following us at a distance, his breathing heavy and labored, and his movement slow and shuffling, as if his body was suddenly made of lead. Infirmary. Okay, so this has a very different feel than the first game. Interesting. The old woman's body was surprisingly light. Carrying her felt almost like carrying an old, dry piece of wood. Alright, thanks. Alright, we can describe this to someone later? Oh man, it was bad. We set her down carefully in the infirmary bed as if we were afraid she might break. She looks pe so peaceful. Almost like she's just going to wake up at any minute now. She might. Maybe she didn't suffer much when she died. Okay, so these are jewels decorations and two of them got very bloody but would it work that way or hmm, okay let's hope so anyway i feel a little bad about doing this but i think we need to examine her you mean like an autopsy or something i'm just going to have a look at the wound if we had a coroner then it would be a different story but um what I have a medical license. Of course you do. Uh, you know what? Something you said earlier made me think of that anyway, yeah. You're a nurse? No. Doctor? You're a doctor? Well, I'm not exactly a coroner. Well... Do, do you just like to listen to online lectures and then you took the test? Like, what? what is this? What do you mean? Interesting. I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover, can you? So, you're not a coroner, you're not a doctor, you're not a nurse, what are you? Sorry. You don't need to apologize. Are you really going to perform an autopsy? Oh, um... I won't really be doing it. I think that machine over there is a medical scanner. It's called an atom. It uses nuclear magnetic resonance imaging to examine and diagnose people. What? Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Do you? Oh, yeah? And just how the hell do you remember that? Because Alice, Clover, and I examined this entire room. So you think you can use it to perform some kind of autopsy? Yes. I think I should be able to manage that. Okay. Luna ran the scanner over the body, then turned back to the terminal. The display filled up with text, most of it rather technical. Sex, female, estimated age, 65 to 75 years, diagnosis, deceased, cause of death, exsanguination, exsanguination, estimated time of death, 3-4 hours. Oh man, that's a long time to die. Oh man, that's awful. Damage trajectory, weapon entered through 4th intercostal piercing heart, wound characteristics, wound margin, clean, continuous, 1 sharp, 1 blunt, 150mm wound cavity, 30mm uh, wound length, 3mm wound width. Conclusion, based on the characteristics described above, there is a 95% chance the wound was caused by a sharp, single-bladed instrument. Oh man, thanks for telling us shit we already knew. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, I don't really get it. What's it mean by instrument? Was she stabbed with a clarinet or something? It means a tool of some sort. A knife, probably. In other words, she was stabbed in the heart, right? Yes. Well, I suppose that clears me of suspicion. Sorry, but no. Why? Please, don't tell me you think my hand can somehow turn into a knife. Uh, your finger. I told you that was a joke. Then why am I still a suspect? Take off your robe, robo-monk. We found the old lady in one of the AB rooms. Specifically, yeah. the one farthest to the left. To the left, to the left. Before we went in there, only two other people had been in that room. Oh, it was Clover for sure. It wouldn't be the first time. She has a, sh a small stick. 
you, and Clover. Only one of you was conscious. Fi, please, stop joking around. I assure you, there was no one else in that room besides Clover when I woke up. She must have been put there later. But the door was locked, right? I don't think anyone could have gotten in without the key. Perhaps, but... There was a hatch on the ceiling, remember? Yes, there was. But Zero said he locked all the hatches. Yeah, but there was the body of the woman was actually on the top of the hatch with some sort of contraption that when we opened it and we jumped out, it closed behind us, but only halfway, like, and would just whip her around on a rubber band that would just go along. And then when it closed properly, it would snap, breaking the band, and then she would just fall down onto a strategically placed icicle knife that would grow out of the floor at the same time. And then she would get stabbed when she landed because she was still alive in the scenario because I just decided to make it more complicated. And then the it was made of ice nine, but ice nine still w will melt when it comes in contact with this kind of um, blood too. And she has blood too, and that melted the ice nine, and it just went in with the blood. There we go. That's how it happened. Done. And then I put down the backpack I was holding. Well, if you're telling the truth, nobody could have gotten in there after you two left, which means. Fucking bastard. Why'd you kill her, Kay? Yeah, I agree with Dio, actually. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm getting some big asshole character you're supposed to be like, what the fuck's your problem, dude, Fives? But now I'm like, I'm really on Team Dio here. It's like, yeah, what the fuck, dude? Like, you just, what are you? Like, talk some more. Like, <laughs> I knew it. You're him, aren't you? You're the real Zero. Yeah. Wait a minute, please. You're pretty sus, bro. Just calm down. You aren't making sense. Let's suppose I am Zero. Why would I do something that would obviously cast suspicion on me? So, you would be able to say that question? Uh, well, because... Because you figured we'd think that. Yeah. You'd throw us off the trail by doing the exact opposite. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. This the genius, yeah. But then you would think that too. Which means that you're trying to pass yourself off as not Zero. But then we would think that as well. That's not a logical argument. It is, though. What do you mean? It is! Still, you do have at least half a point. Your argument doesn't confirm my guilt, but it does show us where we should be looking. Okay, the where's that? The real Zero. Ah, okay. Deflection. I like it. Zero says what? The person who brought us here is likely the person who murdered that woman. Zero says very well. Doesn't that seem like the most reasonable answer? I guess... I have no idea what the fuck is going on with her. Yeah, that makes sense. If Zero was the murderer, then they could open anything they wanted to. I mean, didn't Zero say something about that? So who slipped away while we were gone? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole warren are under my control. Exactly. Also, consider this. If the murderer isn't Zero, why would the AI Zero stay silent? He told us that his job was to make sure the game ran smoothly. Why would Zero set up a game and then just slip off to murder someone and put them in a room for us to find afterward? But now the unexpected has happened, and he says nothing. Why would he do that? If he can see everything we do, then he must know who killed the old woman. Hmm... So why has he kept his silence? The answer is simple. The murderer is Zero. Or rather, Zero Senior, I suppose you could say. Mm, not necessarily. Maybe... Maybe there are rules on top of it that we don't know about. He likely ordered Zero Junior, the AI, to keep his identity hidden. If Zero Junior told us about the murder, then Zero Senior's identity would be compromised. There was something else to consider as well. Perhaps this murder was not unexpected. Zero Senior murdered her. Just as planned. Death is only another part of the game. All according to Kotaku. <laughs> Killing someone's just part of a game to well, him. There's no way to know for sure. But I would assume so.
Ten minutes remain. Oh and yeah. Ambidex game polling closes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Seriously. What? Why would we didn't even investigate that? And and the bunny didn't come up and say, "Hey, just ignore the dead body or anything like that." This is this is kind of this is kind of weird. Okay. So um. We have like an hour left or four, half an hour left. Um, I'm so far. I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm not really feeling this as much as the first game so far. Um, this is a much more of a slow start. Despite I feel like we got into the escape rooms faster. I feel like like I, the first one was just more interesting. With a after the initial meeting, it, it started to pick up more. And this is just kind of like, hmm. I'm not like I don't. I have no idea who this is. I don't care that this woman's dead. I don't really feel like it's a big like oh my god mystery. You know what I mean? Whereas by this point in the in the in the first one, like we already had some some funny conversations in in the room. Um, and also uh, it was the, the, right around then it was um snake went missing right. And I feel like that's more compelling and interesting than than what just happened here. Like the first big oh my god mystery of of nine 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 is where the fuck did snake go? And here it's oh we found someone dead and we don't even know who they are i'm not saying it's bad or it won't get better later but if i'm judging the games right now of of their first like part um the first game is vastly superior to this one so far kind of often a little bit all right here we go also i hate the bunny so yeah all players please enter your votes the rules are also a little more convoluted in this one Maybe that's why too, but maybe it, that is like um, you're buying into complexity for there to be more mystery and moving parts later on in the story. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. What? Man, I don't think the bunny's going to have enough time to, ex to explain this shit in 10 minutes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline is passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. Are we are we link? Oh, are we changing pairs? Whoa, what was that? Did we change colors? I don't know. Well, one thing's for sure. It's shit, and that is? If we don't go vote, something bad's going to happen. Yeah, go tell that to Ontario. You see, just as I said... Uh huh. Zero Junior ensures the game continues, even though someone has died. All of this is part of Zero Senior's plan. Let's get back to the warehouse. If we all head to the AB rooms, maybe we'll see Zero Junior. After all, he told us he'd give us specifics once we'd gone in. Oh really? Something's happening here. Okay. Did we warehouse A? Oh, that means there's a warehouse B. Oh god damn it. We're really going in there. I kind of don't want to. Why are all the rest of the doors closed? Wait, did we? Did everyone vote but us? I mean, there was a dead lady in there just a few minutes ago, huh? Wait, Fi, where'd you go? Up here. Up. Whoa. What the hell is she doing? How did you get up there by yourself? I swear to God, if you find a severed rubber band or rope or something, you must be really desperate to get high. Seriously? <laughs> That's the best you can do? <laughs> That's such a fucking terrible joke. Are you fucking kidding me? I was expecting something about how I jump at the first sign of trouble. Oh, man. Whatever. What are you up here for, anyway? Sorry, I just misread that completely. Everyone's gone to, into the yeah, AB rooms. Well, there was something I wanted to check out. And that this is. Thing. Remember it? The hatch. Try opening it. No luck. It won't budge. Mm. Wait, did we see the hatch open? Maybe there was no hatch. Maybe he was just sitting here waiting and we just never looked over here. He's just maybe he has a cloaking field and he just cloaked. Just like and, and then when we were all down, then he jumped over. Then that means this A B room is locked down tight. No one could get in. We're talking about whoever killed that old lady, aren't you? Yeah. You still think it's K, huh? Well, like Clover said, if Zero Senior is the killer, then it wouldn't matter if we could open this hatch or I not. Know. 
I just wanted to be sure. Okay, it's kind of weird that you're focused on the hatch. That's where mine, my mind went as well. Interesting. Maybe she was suspended from the ceiling and we just didn't see her because we were too distracted by the robot. And then in the background, when all of us were distracted, womph, and then it closed. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All right, that was a long five minutes. Let's go. I imagine Algernon's waiting for us. What? Uh, he's a rabbit. Look. Look. There's something on the screen. Yeah, you're right. The Ambidex game will now begin. To enter your vote, please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until the polling period is finished. Do -do -do -do. All right. Well, looks so like there's no going back now. Observation. Unfortunately, you only have four minutes left, and my pre-programmed explanation is five minutes, so you're all dead. Game over. In my swimsuit. So have we. We've got some questions for you, Zero. Who was that old woman? Oh. Will all of you please stop bombarding me with questions? The all? The other people in the other rooms are asking me stuff just like you are, Siggy. I guess you probably can't hear them since these rooms are completely soundproof, but... Interesting note, okay. So that means someone could have been stabbed and we wouldn't have hear it, heard it from uh, outside, okay. B.O. is especially loud. For real, B.O. I need you to shut up. For real? There isn't much time. I better hurry and explain all this stuff or the game will end before I'm done. Yep. No more questions from now on. No answers for anybody, okay? You just have to wait. Now, let's get this party started! Let me tell you about the AV game. Since it's a game, you're obviously going to have an opponent. But it's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one-on-one -on -one battle. Mono a mono, or mono a womano. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two-on-one battle, I guess. <laughs> now, I imagine you're all wondering who your opponent is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. Ooh, okay. For example, Siggy and Fido paired up with Mooney and went through the magenta door, didn't they? That means that Siggy and Fido will be playing against Mooney. And it goes the other way, too. Mooney's opponent will be Siggy and Fido. Obviously, that means Potassium and Cleaver's enemy will be Alas. And B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be Ten Me Oldie. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? After all, if you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? What? Don't get it? Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. Super, 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 super. First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! Your DP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this handy chart. Okay, is this is this the thing where if there's a machine and you can get to pick to cooperate or you can pick to, to, to cheat and if you cooperate then both of you get two points but if you betray you can get three and the other person gets nothing and it's in everyone's best interest if everyone just just um, cooperates but 
that doesn't happen, so everyone else just ends up, like, betraying or whatever. I can't remember exactly what it's called, and neither does Chad, apparently. The plus and minus are from your point of view. Yeah, no one, no one knows it. Yeah. So, let's say you choose ally, and so does your opponent. You'll get two VP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. I'm gonna look it up actually. What is it? Thing where you pick a thing and then afterwards Been so long. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally. But your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP and they get three. Ooh. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. Somebody did that to me. Let's get him and store with some tires. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. This time, you're the one who gets three VP, and they're the one who loses two. We call that the serves them right outcome. I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice. And there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. And finally, the very last scenario. This is when you choose betray, and so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you get to lose anything. Absolutely zero change in BP. Ugh. Boring. Okay, so you actually lose points. I didn't catch that because I was too busy just kind of glossing over because I hate this character. All right, so if if you choose it and they choose betray, it's not just like they gain the points; like they you actually lose some as well. Okay, well I'm just gonna pick ally. We call this the why even bother outcome. VA is fantastic for the role given. I do have to agree that the VA is giving it all they have, but I just I hate. The character. As the game master here, this is the situation I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pairs, aren't you? Oh, let me explain. <laughs> Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here too. The two of you only get one vote. You get to choose once between ally or betray. We get to choose? That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay, then. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Okay, so there's no way that Luna would choose betray, right? There's no way. Actually, there's a little bit more, but... It'll just have to wait, I guess. After all, it's almost time! I mean, like, there's no way, there's no way that Luna would choose Betray. Hey, no. wait. I won't wait and I can't wait. Didn't you hear me? It is time! Do -do. One minute. Remains until Abadex game polling closes. You see, it's time for me to be hopping on out of here. See you later. Have a nice trouble. Okay, fine. I'll check it. All right. Okay. Fine. We put it off as long as possible. All right. There we go. All right.
It's a masterpiece. Masterpiece. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose betray. What? What? You're kidding. You really want me to betray we Luna? I don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses betray, we're screwed. Okay, so I, I take her logic here is that we have no idea what she's going to do. And if we choose betray and she chooses betray, then we lose nothing at least. And we have a big payout with nothing. But if we choose ally, we get a smaller payout with a huge drawback. So I see where she's coming from. But you have to have faith in people, man. You have to choose ally. You, you just have to. Come on. That's a loss of two points. You tell me, Sigma. What's three minus two? Um. Uh, A. What kind of do you think I am? It's one, obviously. Exactly. If our BP gets down to one, it's over. What if we get down below one, though? What if we go negative? Does that somehow count as being above nine? So? What if we get to negative nine? What do you mean by it's over? 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Just press the damn button! You're hiding something. Yeah, you've been suspicious from the get-go. I mean, how'd you know my name? Or how about when we found that old lady's body? You didn't even blink. Almost like you knew she would be here. Are we talking? Look, I don't want to believe it, but did you? Are you? Fine. Fine. I killed her. If you won't do it, then I... Don't think so. I'm not going to move until you give me some answers. It's like we finished our, her sentence there. If I don't do anything, I'll, it'll just vote ally for us anyway. So let's hear... Oh, yeah, that did say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice, nice. What are you hiding? What's it... What's it's over supposed to mean? Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven... Uh Six, five, four, three, two. When your BP hit zero, you die. How do you know that? That's what I meant. How do you know that? One. Vote is being recorded. Please wait. Round one of the Ambidex game has been completed. How do you know that? Also, it won't hit zero because I'm going to lose two points and then two points, which means I can go from three down to down to one, and then I go to minus one. I skip right over zero. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I, I can't hit zero. I'm good. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Ooh. Thank you for your participation. Okay, it would be very surprising if Luna hit Betray. So I hope that happens actually, because I'd be like, whoa, I'm, I'm unexpected. Ambidex gates now opening. As Fi and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others running toward the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. Temiyoji was left behind, his footsteps as a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? What was that, Sigma? Huh? Don't play dumb. You chose ally. Didn't you hear me? I told you that if your BP drops to zero, you die. Yeah, you're not the boss of me. Yeah, I heard you. A whole second before the deadline. How can you expect me to think of anything think anything through that quick? It would have taken like half a second just to process what you'd said. No, you could have done it. What? The brain's processing power increases during a crisis. Eh. It starts working so fast that a second can seem like an eternity. Eh. Your brain was doing that right before time ran out, wasn't it? Eh. Well, am I wrong? Yes. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, fine. Let's be generous and say, hypothetically, that you're right about this crisis overclocking thing. Overclocking? How would you know whether or not my brain was doing that? Did you crack open my skull while I wasn't looking? You just wedge a microscope in there and have a look at my neurons? Okay, are we linked in somehow? Like, more than, than the watch? 
That's weird. Are the others as well? Let me be straight with you. I don't trust you. Your shit is whack. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> this has been great with with Jumpy's voice acting, right? Can I do Jumpy's voice? I can't. I can't. Let me be straight with you. Your shit is whack. Like, hella whack. I mean, you just know stuff you shouldn't. Stuff like my name or how your BP hits zero, you die. You told me you don't know why, but. More and more. I'm starting to think you've been lying to me. Oh shit. Yo. Yo. Uh, What's up? What, when did this come out? What's up, really? Ziggy. I know. Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Everyone hit betray except for you guys, you dumbasses. You idiots. Let's go. See, if everyone hits betray, then next time everyone else is gonna hit betray, and no one's getting out of here. Time to see what the results are. Maybe it's different this time. Which, which is exactly what would happen. This time. This time. Hey. Oh. Okay. Interesting. All right, where's that? Where's that gonna go? So this time she's the jumpy. Are we jumpy too? Is it gonna be multiple jumpies? Huh. All right. Hey, Fi, hold on. Well, you could have done the fucking puzzles then, Fi. Shit. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Let's get ready to rock! And the next game! Round one! The results! Was uh... If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Ooh! Oh, Shrek! Yay! Yay! Okay, let's go through this. Very surprising. Honestly, very, very surprising. Like, wow. Also surprising, okay? These are two very surprising options, okay? This one. Also very surprising. This one makes sense because, you know, it's Dio and Quark. And the way that they've been talking, we know that Quark is just pure evil and bullied Dio into this. Like, Quark probably just, you know, said, you know, you stay on that side. I'm handling this. And, you know, like Dio's probably computer screen blind anyway. And, and Quark was betrayed. Like, that makes complete sense. Um, This is very surprising. Oh, it's a big ass spider. Oh, one second. Oh, man, you're huge. Now you're not, okay. That's the second one I've killed in a while. Two big spiders today, or no, uh, this week. Okay, I'm very, very surprised that he voted ally. I'm very surprised that Alice voted ally. I'm very surprised that Kay and Clover voted betray, especially considering Clover and Alice seem to know each other. This is very strange. Luna voting ally seems about right. I'm I'm not I'm not surprised. I'd be curious to see if we voted betray, what would have happened? If that would have changed the results in some way. I don't know. Do you enjoy killing spiders? I do not enjoy killing spiders, but um, you know, with a house full of kids, I just don't feel right letting them just wander around. Maybe that's wrong of me. I don't know, but yeah. All right, so six 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 five five five. Okay, so this was probably a good good result. Hmm. Okay, so now I know if I'm ever, well, I never am going to be again. Oh, all of the people who are solo that you can go with all voted ally. Interesting. So can we stick with Luna forever now and we're always going to vote ally? Because, like, 
Alice and, and, and Ten are probably going to be like, well, screw that. I'm never voting Ally ever again. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Plus two. Thanks, Luna. No, it's nothing. You don't have to thank me. I only did what anybody would have done. Anybody? I believed in you and Fi. Can you imagine if she if she said any any bunny right now and they'd be like, oh shit, so you're zero? And she's like, god damn it. When Luna glanced away, I threw fire what could only be described as a smoke grenade. <laughs> She didn't respond, only turned away, unperturbed. I was about to pr what kind of Sigma male are we? I was about to press the issue when I heard Tamiyoji's voice. Mark, what happened? <sighs> no, no, it wasn't me. Mr. Dio tricked me. He told me he'd pick Ally. He, he promised. I don't believe you. That's why I let him do the voting. Is this true, Dio? Are you serious? This kid's full of shit. What? What? I didn't do squat. Quark was the one who decided how we were going to vote. I believe him. You want to know what he told me? You just leave the voting to me, Mr. Dio. <laughs> and you're in there and you're like, yeah, all right. Seems legit. Like, okay, kid. You seem to have this handled. Like, this is an important decision, but you know, whatever you do, what you think is best, kid I just met, like today, whatever, Quark, you know what's more fucked up? I believe it. This is probably what happened. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Travis didn't choose to ally for sure, because I'm his opponent on this one. <laughs> should betray <laughs> what? to be honest i'm getting kind of tired of that grumpy old bastard holy shit he had a good life but it's time for him to go okay there's no fucking way ten's gonna believe this and then dio's gonna be like what the fuck man that's what happened meanwhile that is what happened and quark's like Mwah. like what the fuck what do you say you leave the old bark here and leave it's amazing i've got a plan <sighs> Don't worry about me. Oh. Just tell him you tricked me. Yeah. <laughs> He'll believe whatever I tell him. <laughs> and then next time they 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 um uh, party up again for the next one, and then they do the same thing Besides, again. If he still trusts me, that'll make it easier to use him again later. Oh my God. It just keeps going. Pretty good plan, huh? All right, let's do it. You, you're lying. Good transition there. I like it. I never should have trusted you, Dio. You're a lying jerk. Sure, kid. Keep whining. See if I care. Okay, I actually really do believe Dio. Is is chat with me here? I believe. I, I obviously, if you played the game before, you know. So your opinion doesn't count. I I actually believe Dio here. Grandpa. Don't let this brat fool you, old man. All of this is just part of his plan. You bastard! His plan? I'm not gonna let you get away with this! You bastard! Oh, the language. That's enough, Quark. Don't lose your temper. How long have I known you? What is he wearing? I could be deaf and blind, and I'd still know if you were lying to me. And you are right now. Really? <laughs> You're just as gullible as he said you'd be. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Can we have a second flashback? To, <laughs> to Quark saying exactly that? He's gonna say something like, Even if I was death and blind, I could still sell you your lying, Quark. And then comes back in the flashback, and Quark's like, Yeah, no, it's Dio. Give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. <laughs> that little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. Uh... I don't know what he is to you, but if I were you... 
I trust the kid as far as I could throw him. And oh, at man. your age, that can't be much. Maybe you're also a con man. Maybe you're secretly proud of him right now. Maybe it's like a Sith Lord deal. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. That's all right. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> what is the smile? She's always smiling. What do you mean you apologize? What? This is very unfortunate. I, I hit the wrong button. I'm so sorry. It looked as though another argument had taken place while Quark and Dio were fighting. Whatever it had been about, it appeared to have resolved itself. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. <sighs> Gonna betray for sure. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. If there's a round one, then there's likely a round two. Besides, didn't you say the goal of the AB game was to get nine BP? That's impossible without a second round. <laughs> yeah. I guess you got a point. Unless you kill someone and then you get their BP. If you kill them, then it just transfers over. I bet you that actually is something that can happen. That's always There's always a loophole. You're right. There will be a second round. When? I don't know. Why not? The voting happens when an AB gate opens. Hoppins? Um, they're already open. Oh, get back in, quickly. Yeah, she's, that's what he said. Run in. Go, go. So, let me just close them. Okay. Alright, now there's another body in one of them. Gates have closed. Round two of the Amberdex game will be the moon round. Ooh. Moon cards will be required to open the gates. Moon cards? Does that mean we can't use these cards anymore since they got suns on them? Yes, indeedy. Now, you'll have to look for cards with moons on them. So, how many times do we play the AB game? I don't know. As many times as you need to. It's anybody's guess how long it'll go. But I plan on keeping this party going until somebody opens the number nine door. So it's over when someone gets 9 BP. Okay, well, if everyone just keeps betraying over and over and over and over and over again, then no one's gonna get any points. No, nope. as long as that person doesn't open the number 9 door, the game goes on! Hmm. So someone's have to gonna vote ally eventually in order to get some, uh, get some extra points into the, uh, into circulation. Of okay. Course. You could also get stuck just below 9 BP. Where every bunny just keeps going back and forth and back and forth, winning and losing points. After all, if there's no bunny with nine BP, the door can't open. Okay, again, pretty good delivery. I just this is just trash. I wish I could enjoy this, but I just can't. It's just so annoying to me. Um, I mean, we'll see what I say tomorrow. <laughs> But I don't know. Uh, I'm curious. Like, are they gonna feed us? Like, what's going on? If that happens, you'll just have to continue on to round three, and round four, and round five, round 100, round 2,000. You might even go all the way up to round 24 billion, 9 million, 4,897. <gasps> Although, I really, really hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> Man, what happened to Junae? Hey, can I ask you something? I don't know. Can you? There's rules about who can go into the secondary doors, right? Like, you have to have three people. Exactly. Yeah? So? Well, what about the number nine door? Are the rules the same? Nope. Nope? There aren't any rules about how many people can go through that door. It could be one person, or two people, or even all nine of you. Uh, <laughs> there is one thing we'll see. You have to have above nine to get through? All that stuff about how you have to have three people to go through the secondary chromatic doors? It was bullshit. Maybe it's not 100% true. What? What? What do you mean? Well, 
You can open the door with just one or two people if you want. Lamayo got him. Or right, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Why are we why are we believing anything at this point then? The, the time time to, to to go primal. Let's go. Rip and tear. Let's go. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. Um. So, am I wrong in thinking that if one person gets nine points, then they can just go open the door and then everyone can run through with them? Or is that also not allowed? Even if even if the bunny said that, you can't even believe that. I hate I hate this this. This Danganronpa bullshit. That's not what you told us. Yeah. N how can we trust you now, person who imprisoned us and is forcing us to play a game? <laughs> well, I didn't want to make things complicated. Then explain it now. Just use the bracelets. What? How? There's a sort of scanner between the two doors. It checks to see if the right people are going through. But... That doesn't necessarily mean it's scanning the people. Okay, so it is still three. It's just three bracelets. Okay, so that that's fine, actually. I don't consider that a lie. Okay, that's fine. So it's scanning the bracelets then? Ding, ding, ding! I can now so trust the bunny the again. The scanner sees the right combination of bracelets? It doesn't matter how many people there are! <laughs> but wait, hold on a minute. Do these things even come off? Oh, yes! They do indeed. Then, then how do I take it off? Die. Well, there's two ways. The first is to get through the number nine door and escape. As soon as you're out, the bracelet unlocks all by itself. What's the second way? Hey, Zero, wake up, will ya? What's the second way? Oh, Vio. You know. I think you already know. What? Do you really want to get rid of that bracelet? Of course I do. Oh, well. I see. It's easy. Okay, what if you chopped off your arm? Nothing to it, really. Just gnaw it off. Just do it. You. Die. <gasps> Here's an exciting fact. Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. You know what an electrocardiogram is, right? Technically, it's a machine that graphs the electric current flowing across the myocardium, but you probably know it as the thing in the hospital with the little light that goes beep, 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 beep. Someone dies on a TV show. Okay, that's very com big commitment there to the bit. But then you bleed out, yeah. But if only we had a fully stocked and apparently functional infirmary that was given to us in the first round of the game. Darn. I'm pretty sure that you could just like, you know, and she's a doctor. Just just chop it off, slip it off, and then fucking just stitch it back on there. Um, whatever the fuck her name is. Luna, let's go. Come on. What would you cut? There's plenty of stuff in, in the infirmary. You could find something. Just do it. Let's just do it, man. What are you going to do? To what end? Don't have to worry about the needles anymore. You can break the rules. Just do whatever. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by pumping blood. If you if you cut your arm off and you get it put back on, stitched together really, really fast, like, it's just like a paper cut. Like, it's, it's like the five-second rule. Just, like... Just snip, slide, right back on. As long as you hold it there, like, like seriously, like, like, yeah, it'd be fine. I, I know this. It's just common sense. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always watching. So, when that signal goes away... The lock on the bracelet releases, right? Yep. So there you go. The second way. Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. <sighs> Apart from that, there's no other way to get the bracelets off. If you try something harebrained, like trying to break them or something, you'll be disobeying the rules. Uh, oh. I don't think I need to remind you what happens when you do that. Can we have a list of the rules, please? <laughs> if you're lucky, you might get to see a few of them come off during the next round. <laughs> uh, oh man, I hope so. Oops. 
I guess it's not going to be very lucky for some of you, huh? <laughs> Next round. Uh, yep. What do you mean? Well, do I have to explain everything? Yes. Somebody might die during the next round of the AB game. There. That's pretty clear, right? If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be ten me all the or alas. One or the other. Alas. Or <gasps> it might be both of them. <sighs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Why am I going to die? Mommy? Sorry. Mo hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Okay. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the rules. Okay, but what about if it goes negative? I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. <laughs> you mean the needles in our bracelets are gonna activate and we'll die? Marks. So, okay, I'm feeling pretty secure now because we have, what do we have? We have five and you lose two. So we have to go through, th we have to be bamboozled three times in a row in order to die. And the chances are that it's, by the time we get to that level, there's going to be enough people that will understand that we have to ally in order to get through. Right? And if we get to that point, uh, I guess it's still always going to be a gamble by the time everyone gets down so low that you just, I'm just going to hit betray forever and forever and ever and we're never going to get out of here. So, Fi had been right, but how had she known before Zero told us? I see. Alice and I only have one BP. Yeah. She reached back through the morphogenic field. It was me, Barry. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us about this earlier? You know what? I'm actually agree. Sorry. Sorry's not going to cut it. Yep. I think you should give the points back. I thought you were supposed to tell us the rules, not hide them. Yep. This is a good point. Yep. Kidnapper, by the way. Well... Yes. It's not fair to make people play a game without explaining all the rules. I think it's fair. After all, it's not like anybody else knew. Buddy? Bunny? Right? Right, Fido? <sighs> yeah. I guess so. Just, we're just letting that one just go by, huh? Everyone's just like, whatever. I took a moment to go everything to go over everything in my head. The AB game would continue until someone opened the number nine door. There were no rules about how many people could could or couldn't pass through the number nine door. That meant it was possible for everyone to escape. The secondary chromatic doors could be opened by any number of people so long as you had the right bracelets. The bracelets would only unlock under two conditions. If you left the building or your heart stopped. If your BB hit zero, the needles in your bracelet would activate, killing you, and then the bracelet could come off. One last thing. The next set of chromatic doors you'll be going through are downstairs. You already saw them, right? There should have been three. Red, blue, and green. That means that to get through, you'll need bracelets in cyan, magenta, and yellow. Okay, same thing as last time, right? But wait, you've already got those bracelets. Have a look. The color's changed, hasn't it? Ooh, yeah, it did change. Mine changed from red to cyan. Me too. Mine's cyan now. Mine too. Wait, I guess the colors weren't the only thing that changed. It switched from pair to solo. Oh. You're right. Mine switched from solo to pair. Oh. Oh, this sucks. Mine is now a solo as well. Okay. Yep, looks like mine's changed too. I've gone from solo to pair. I'm still a pair. The three of us seem to be magenta now as well. I'm yellow. And it still says solo. Fi, you and Dio are yellow now too, right? Yeah. 
Looks like I'm a pair. When did they change? Back when the AV gates closed. As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. Oh, okay. A pair of solo assignments hop around a bit too. Okay, this is a little convoluted, but okay. And of course, it's <laughs> totally random. Yeah, I don't believe you. No rules or anything. Now, with all of that explained. Wait, what are we again? Are we Cyan? Sadly, we may never meet again. And are we a solo? I, I completely blanked on what we are. What? Well, there's not really anything for me to facilitate anymore. Oh, thank God. I mean, you guys are good from here, right? It's so great to be back in a nonary game, Jumpy. I have several sticks this time. I brought my own. They're very sharp sticks. I'll never see you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. Did you really think I was going to cry? <laughs> Suckers! As if I'd cry over you dummies. What the... You fucking dick. Dick? You fucking... Just you fucking dick. Well, okay. All right. We're that kind of Sigma. <laughs> you mad? Ugh. Anyway, good luck. I may be gone, but I'm always watching. Ooh. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Okay. You're going to be back, like, right away. Like, honestly, in the next five minutes, I would say you're going to be back. A nice tragedy. If not, definitely by the time we do the next voting thing, like. Do, do, do. Why this? This is weird. That little piece of shit. If I could just get my hands on that little fucker, I'd squeeze him till he popped. He's not real, dude. That sounds gross. I don't really want to think about that. Um, so... What happens now? We still got a while until the chromatic doors open. Do we? All right, who who are we paired with? We're Cyan. Who the fuck is the other Cyan? Yeah, it looks like about forty-two minutes. We should go and see if we can find any other exits. Is it you? Maybe there's a vent or a disposal chute or something. Okay, we're voting ally. If there's a chance Zero missed something. Oh, if we voted ally and the other person voted betray, we'd be fine, but she'd die. Oh, man. Oh, that would be great. All right, I hope that happens. I concur. There's no point in standing around. We lose nothing by looking. And if we find nothing, we can always return and go through the chromatic doors. Let's split up. Five minutes would give us a good half hour or so. No, yeah, what? Right, if we're if we're uh, assuming I'm right that we're we're linked, maybe I'm maybe I'm, we're not. She has one, we have five. If we vote ally and the other person votes betray, we lose two points. She would go down to negative one, we go down to three, we'd be fine, she would die. So I think that would happen. So when we get and we have to go into the voting game with her if we're paired because that's how it works. So when we go in there, she's gonna be like, you can't vote ally because there's a chance I might die. Whereas if we vote betray, like. There's a there's we a chance we get points or nothing and I get to live and there's no way but and then you'd be like well there's no way the other person is gonna vote betray and and kill you they know you only have one point Alice so it's gonna be ally don't worry and then we're gonna hit ally and we're gonna come out and Quark's gonna be like -ha -ha, you know like that's <laughs> anyway let's keep, let's keep going let's meet in front of the chromatic doors <laughs> five minutes before they open then mm -hmm. any objections. There were none. After some nods and mumbling, they split up and moved off to investigate. I was the only person who stayed behind to talk to the bunny. Damn, how the hell did I end up here? Why? Why me? Is it flashback time? 
Try as I might, I couldn't think of anything I'd done that could have landed me in Zero's game. I hadn't pissed anyone off, at least not this bad. I didn't owe anybody money, and my family certainly wasn't rich. If anyone was ho hopping to get a fat ransom payout for me, they were going to be ready to supplant. Okay, cool. I like it. I don't. Did Jumpy do this? Did Jumpy was like, why the fuck am I in this game? Or did he? As soon as he saw Akane, was he? He just had like like cerebral wood for the rest of the of the game, and he just didn't really think about it. It was just all about getting through Akane. Th this isn't like he's like, why am I here? Actively trying to figure out a situation, thinking things through. Good job. He did an album. I don't believe you. Obviously, I wasn't some kind of genius, nor was I an Olympic athlete, and certainly, and I certainly hadn't been chosen by God to fulfill some great purpose on His earth. Well, at least if I was, I didn't know it yet. Had I started a fight with a frightening and mysterious new religion? No. Had I hacked in some terrorist group server? No. Maybe. Had I witnessed an assassination? No. Had I gotten wasted and had a one-night stand with the mistress of a prominent politician? Yes. Well, yeah. Whoa! Ooh! Damn! Really on the Sigma grind set! Holy shit! Damn! I am... I am... I'm impressed. I, I'm gonna be even less impressed when it says JK just kidding when I hit the button after this. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this less. This is, this is weird. But it was just the one time. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. And she was the one who went after me. Oh, wait, what? Woo. Anyway, I was just an ordinary college student. And then she... T Please just be a story about how he slept with the, with the mistress. If there was a reason I'd be adapted to put in an owner game, I sure couldn't see... I, I, I mean, I think it's... I think it's... I think it's the politician thing. I... Why are you just dismissing that? Because it just happened the one time. Why was this happening to me? I thought back to what I'd been doing right before I was taken. The memories were still a little blurry, but they were they were there. Oh, flashback? Yeah. December 25th, 2028. What? Early morning, California desert. The moon was beautiful. Wait, hold on. What year was it in... <laughs> what year was it was the end of the first game? <laughs> Did they drive out? <laughs> and Akane just like, This is what I do now! Woof! <laughs> she, she just can't help herself. She's just zero is taken over. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh, all right, I can't remember what it was. Alright, the moon was beautiful. I just finished writing a paper due, due that day and was heading to my car from the research building. The parking lot was empty and a bright moon cast sharp shadows across the chilly pavement. The last time I'd looked at the clock, it had said it was two in the morning, which meant that today was Christmas day. Almost Christmas means. So why was I at school typing away feverishly on Christmas? There were three reasons. We're going to do all three of them first. My home computer had suddenly decided to eat shit. Oh man, it was working really hard. Second, I really wanted to, to score with the, li the librarian. When I hit the power button, I just got nothing. I didn't have the time to spend all night troubleshooting the stupid thing, so I headed back to the camp the campus to use one of the school machines. Second, the professor in charge of my research group was a Buddhist. Christmas didn't appear to have any sort of significance to him, and part of me couldn't shake the thought that he was trying to make some kind of point. What? No. Third, my girlfriend ooh, had bro oh, broken up with me a week before. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Goodbye. Oh, <laughs> I got was that one cold email. <laughs> Try as I might, I couldn't even get in touch with her. Okay, that's fucking sus as fuck. What? And you're like, oh, well. <laughs> it's fucking like... Sigma girlfriend as well. Holy shit. She has a YouTube channel with with has fucking lions that show up in the intro. And she shows up holding holding her chin or her hand. Just like, yeah, here comes, here we go. Oh man. Oh okay, that's weird. Of course that meant I wouldn't be attending the party we've been planning on going to. Somehow I didn't think drinking by myself around a bunch of happy couples would really be a good idea. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss? Nice. At any rate, 
I'd stayed up all night to finish my paper and emailed it off to my professor before the sun began to rise. As I walked across the parking lot, I felt light. Perhaps it was the relief of finishing my paper, or perhaps it was the five energy drinks I'd chugged to stay awake. Perhaps it was both. Oh, this is us? Wait, are we a cop? What? Wait, what's this? What are we wearing? Oh my god, what are we? What? What what fucking mishmash bullshit is this on a grenade symbol that oh we really are like some trash fire sigma but also kind of chad what the hell i slid into my car and stuck the key into the ignition after only two tries okay honestly what not what i expected at all i twisted the key nothing happened huh i jiggled the key into the slot and tried again and again. And again. This time for sure. On the fifth try, the engine made it. <laughs> on the fifth try, the engine made an odd creaking noise like metal on metal and felt silent. <laughs> I opened the trunk and Zero's mask was there staring back at me. God damn it. You stupid piece of shit. I screamed and pounded on the steering wheel. But nothing worked. Then I tried the ignition again. The console was about to get a visit from my fist when... Bad? Is that the number... Is that the number three or a one? Or is it a side profile of a, of a lady sitting down? See, like, there's the face, there's the hair, there's the boobs, there's the stomach down with the legs. Do you see it? X? Wh who is this person, huh? Huh? What? What the hell is this? Why is my car smoking? for a moment I thought that it was just my panic and lack of sleep that were keeping me from opening it. It wasn't long before I realized the truth. Shit. Open, goddammit. What was going on? My mind was racing, trying desperately to puzzle out what was happening through a haze of fear and caffeine-fueled neuron misfires. And this, whatever was in this was not reacting well to the energy drinks. That was when I saw it. Just a glimpse in the rear view mirror, but I was certain there was someone behind my car. <laughs> Actually, I would be fucking terrified if I saw this. <laughs> I spun around as fast as a very tired college student sitting in my car can. <laughs> what are these descriptions? Who's there? Okay, this is a cardboard cutout for sure. My vision started to swim as the smoke filled the car. The more of it I inhaled, the heavier my body felt, and I could already feel the world starting to go dark. The last of my strength failed, and I collapsed sideways into the passenger seat. My eyes slowly drooped closed. Okay. When they opened again, I was in the AB room with Phi. Why is this happening to me? I spent a few minutes wallowing in misery. I figured I deserved at least a little self-pity. All right. I think after the flashback, I think this is a good place to stop. And we're going a little over time. I also, like, meandered a little bit at the beginning. But a longer intro when it's a big game is not the worst idea. Okay. So I'm going to save it. Um, and that's that. Okay. So that's it for today's stream. Uh, we'll be continuing tomorrow. Uh, there will be a fan art intro tomorrow, but there won't be like a, a bamboozle or going back to that shitty Hatsune Miku game because even you guys don't like it anymore. Um, but there will be a fan art intro tomorrow. I'm probably going to um, split. We have a lot of fan art banked up. I think I'm probably going to split it um, into like maximum like seven and then I can split up a little bit. So instead of showing it all at once, because I like to show it more than once. So I'll see if I can fill up five minutes and whatever however many that takes to show it twice over five minutes is what we're going to go with. Um, and I think that's the best way to do it. Right. 
Probably. When is the VOD going up on YouTube? I have no idea. Um, just so you guys know the schedule, um, I will, I'm streaming Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week, uh, around the same time, unless something bad happens. Like if something comes up, then obviously I'm going to have to take a day off. Um, I will be streaming Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday next week, but I will not be streaming on Thursday and Friday next week because, um, there, we have so something going on on Thursday and Friday next week. I was going to take the whole week off just in case I almost, I almost started streaming this on, um, like last week on Wednesday and just like blaze through it before the end of next week. But it's, it's, people told me it was really long. So, um, we're not going to be doing that. So it, we're going to be streaming all of this week until Friday, no stream Saturday, Sunday. Then we're going to stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week, no stream Thursday and Friday. And then we'll be back on the 20th and we'll finish the game that week, I hope. And if not, then we'll just continue until we finish it. And then I'll be gone for a while and then we'll come back and, and do the third game. And maybe this time we'll, we'll, we'll do Hypnospace Outlaw between them because we we're supposed to do it last week, but I was too tired to do it. Um, will you stream Summer Game Fest? Probably not. I don't, I don't think so. Don't think that's really, uh, really, really worth it. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, is Lillian Chat? Anyway, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, this is interesting so far, but I'm less... I was really hooked by the intro in the first game. I'm... The only reason why... I, I, I would say I'm hooked on this too, but the only reason I am hooked is because I played the first game. Like, if I was just playing this... Eh, you know what? If I was just playing this and it was its own story, maybe I would be more keen. Because... Eh, I don't know. I'm interested to see how it links back, but at the same time... I love this kind of concept, so I guess I would still be interested. I don't know. I'm just I'm just not enjoying it as much as the first one. So far. Anyway, see you all later. Have a good rest of your night. Happy birthday, Yoshi. Everyone says happy birthday. Everyone loves you.